Wait, where's my Sims 2 soundtrack? Come on. There we go. Okay, hi everybody. <laughs> Welcome back! Oh my goodness. You're 700 eggs away from clown, see? I didn't realize you were that close. I know you said you are gonna get it today, but that's like... That's really close. That's exciting. <laughs> anyway, hi everybody! Welcome back! We're gonna play some of the Not So Berry Challenge today. Let me actually get loaded into the... the correct location. So that we're all good. Um, and hi! How are you? Good, I hope? <laughs> um, you're 270k away! Okay, you're 700k away! Yeah! That's really close to a million points, Tilly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I did see the video. We'll talk about it, Penny. We'll talk about the video that Sims posted today. Uh, I also posted it in my Discord. I post, I posted it in the Sims News channel if people are looking for it, but we'll, I'll talk about it. It's just a... Um, they teased some more stuff from the expansion pack, so... Anyway, let's get the game loaded up first. <laughs> you read my going like none of us want to get, as I want to get rid of my house. Oh no, I don't want to get rid of this house. I just built this. Have 10 households in the world that have been played for 10 generations or more. Interesting. I guess that makes sense because I probably have so many like relatives that have continued on and on and on <laughs> and on and on and on and on and on and on. Interesting. Okay, well, legacy player, I guess I got that achievement <laughs> just now. I don't know if I don't know if I deserve to unlock that just now. I feel like I didn't do anything. The achievements in The Sims 4 are kind of broken. So yeah, sorry, we did the Shell Challenge tours on Tuesday. So that was a couple days ago. Um, we toured them on Tuesday. Okay, let me pull up the Sims tweet so that we can talk about it. Um, ah! I have to go on to Twitter, which is like the worst thing in the world. Okay, hold on. Um, the Sims. <sighs> All right, you're gonna be excited about this, everybody. They posted um, a little teaser clip of the new For Rent pack. Um, and in, in it, there's like kind of a sneak peek of building. So I'll show you. We can watch this a couple times probably. But they posted like a little sneak peek of building. And what's fun about this is they show like people building um, different sizes of, of apartments and like uh, multifamily lots. This one has three units. Then they go into four units and they're like all townhouses. <laughs> um, then it goes into five units. And then it goes all the way up until six units. So it sounds like you can have six all on one lot. Which is, I, I was thinking the max would be either three or five. So assuming that six is the max, that is like fine by me. That's a lot. I think that's really cool. Um, so this is a, a pretty cool teaser because they show some more of like how stuff works. Um, and like we can see some honestly very impressive builds. I don't know who built these for this little teaser, but these look really good. <laughs> It's really cool. The townhouses are speaking to me the most. I really like those a lot and I want to build them right now. Like I'm I'm really inspired by that. So doesn't that look so good? <sighs> yeah. I could watch this like 10 times. And it's cool how they've built this also like in this teaser they're showing us these buildings in a lot of different worlds. Like this one is in the university world. So they're kind of showing you the application of this in a lot of different places. Obviously they are highlighting it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and SimGuru Nova, oh, I haven't seen this yet, Christine. There's a thread of info um, from Nova about some of the features that Christine is posting with a lot of replies answering questions, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this was pretty exciting. They they don't usually post as many teasers like this. They had one a few days ago with some cast stuff that they posted. Um, this one excites me a lot more though. What is that? What is this? The new expansion pack that's coming out in about a month. Um, this is so exciting to me. <laughs> Obviously, like I've been wanting to build apartments in this game for so long. So uh, this is this is really fun for me. The thought of this. <laughs> um, Bessie, they posted they posted this on Instagram as well. Um, they posted both these videos on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok, I think. And they also posted it in the Discord server. Um, in the Sims Discord server, there's a TS4 announcements channel. If you're in the Sims channels, the Sims 4 channels, and they posted it there too. 
Um, and I posted it in my own Discord server because the Sims Discord server, while getting less scary, is, um, well, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, it's interesting. <laughs> it's not as bad as it was. So it's still a lot, but it's not as bad as it was. But you heard it's been like bad, bad. Yeah, speaking from my personal experience, uh, the Sims Discord server was a nightmare. <laughs> but they've, um, I think it's calmed down a little bit. So anyway, what's bad about it? Um, it was extremely chaotic, extremely troll filled and not being appropriately modded. So um, anyway. <laughs> yeah, well, for real, I wasn't gonna say it, but yeah, it it was a lot of uh, harass Lil Simsy in the, in the Sims Discord, and a lot of no one's doing anything for like multiple hours. So, anyway, um, my personal experience might have been a little bit worse than what yours have been, but it was pretty bad in there. So, anyway, oh well, um, it's okay. It's not as bad anymore. Uh, the other thing, speaking of harassing Lil Simsy, I wanted to show you guys something that's gonna make you so mad. Sorry to talk about this again, Brew, but okay. So as we, as we all know, one of my mods was just banned for 14 days on Twitch um, for hateful conduct for saying, we hate men, okay? Or I hate men or something like that. I don't, I'm, co I'm quoting something that got someone banned. Twitch, shh. You want something really funny? So someone, um, just to give an example of the kind of things that we talk about a lot here, what I was, I was explaining how part of what was so offensive to me about Twitch banning Brew like that, um, for that, is that a lot of people on Twitch, myself included, like pretty much anyone who's not a man, for the most part, gets constant harassment on this platform. And pretty much nothing gets done about, about it. Here's an example of a, a message in my chat from yesterday. Um, when I got off stream yesterday, I banned this person and reported them um, w within minutes, okay? I got off stream hours later, nothing happened. Their account's still there. Just to give an example, like, so Twitch, you know? And that's just one of many. Like, it's not like that's an uh, out of the ordinary sort of experience, like, <laughs> you know? Um, so it's just frustrating that Twitch has done this. And that's, I just wanted to give another example of, um, that's not even bad compared to some things. Yeah, literally. That's like, that's actually tame compared to a lot of things that people see on Twitch. You don't have to see it because it gets picked up by Automod, but um, yeah, it's just frustrating that like that, nothing happened to that, you know? So that's not bad. Well, it's bad, but it's not, it's not as bad as a lot of things that we see, so. Um, but yeah, thank you, Twitch, <laughs> for your, for your support and help, um, with that, you know? <sighs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna play some of the Not So Buried Challenge today. Yeah, you'd be surprised at how vile some things can get in Twitch chat. Like, people say absolutely horrible, horrendous things so often. And I will say that there are times where, um, the horrible, horrendous things get, like, banned by Twitch really fast, and I think that it might have to do with, like, I don't know how their their moderation system works or like how they answer to reports, but I'm wondering if maybe there's some sort of like, if there's like some keywords that like ding, 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 put it higher in the list. Um, and, and maybe saying you hate a certain group is included in that. And that's why some things that are more vile and like a lot of slurs that get used get banned really fast. But someone saying it was nice seeing you naked yesterday or whatever they said, that's not, that's fine apparently. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? But I, I guess that there's no words in that that might like ding, ding, ding the automation or something. I don't know how it works. Um, but ew. But I will say that they, usually people that try and put slurs in chat get banned by, like obviously when, when we say banned, like banned by me and banned by Twitch are two different things. Like your account gets deleted when you get banned by Twitch. When people try and put slurs in chat, those get like, they will be gone very quickly. Um, but I, I guess that that's easier for them to like, I don't know, requires less human uh, consideration. It's very obvious that it's wrong. So um, yeah, there's one the other day and like, we're talking like in less than 20 minutes, you might get an action on the report versus like in this case, it's been 30 hours or something, you know? 
I don't think the bans are done by bots. This is the thing, Copper. Twitch has always maintained that a human reviews every single ban. Every action that is taken on Twitch, like, against a person to, like, t uh, suspend their account or whatever, they've always maintained that a person does it. Um, anyway. Um, yikes. <laughs> yikes. Um, I don't know how it works. I don't know if that's true or not. Whatever. Um, why does that feel worse? Yeah, I mean, I guess when there's a person doing it, that's how you get a lot more, um, like, bias, I guess, or something. I don't really know how it works. Um, <laughs> Brew, I'm sorry that happened to you. <laughs> I'm so sorry that happened to you. A person does it, I somehow don't believe it. Yeah, I don't know. I would love for them to talk more about it, so. Um, I would love to, I would love to hear the ins and outs. All right, I'm going to try and quickly uh, read some subs because I have failed to thank anybody for 11 minutes and that was really bad of me. <laughs> uh, Bane and Valley and Ginger Snap and Katsu and Milo, Milo, maybe sorry, Plum and Sky and Gnomes and Otto. We got Gray and Little and Mally, Nerdy, Cass, Marty with a thousand bits, uh, Hantali and Penny and Annoying and Grumble. Annoying Carrot is their name and that's a good username. Um, <laughs> Grumble, Reagan, Black Rose, Kayla, great username. Um, Darren Fever, <laughs> Angelina, Alex, uh, we got Alfredo and Perfect and Brat and Local and CK and Tar Heel and Justice and Nurse with the subs, Marty with the gifted subs. Um, we got Brooklyn and Shauna and Desi and Cece and Jody. Uh, we got uh, Nugget and, and Tomatoes and Knit and Buffy and Sardines and Peanut and, and Mel. Uh, DZ, Spicy, Charlie, Castroni, Knight, Christina, Pepe, Week and Deb and Tara and Colin. Oh my gosh, I did it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about how I've much been talking. Um, all right, so here's the deal. We've been playing a little bit of the Not So Berry Challenge. When I say a little bit, we're actually on the eighth generation, so it's not really that little of a bit, but <laughs> you know. Um, we're in the eighth generation of the Not So Berry Challenge. Uh, this is my sim. Her name is Princess Peach. Um, Princess Peach Potts, Peach Generation. Um, she's got her mom living here, Barbie, who is the pink generation. Our brother, Georgia, still lives here. We also have a dog named Pulp and a, and a horse named Strawberry. I almost called it a cat. That's not a cat. <laughs> This is most definitely not a cat. <laughs> um, and in the Peach generation, we have to do a couple things. Ooh, we're going to work. Um, she's in the detective career right now. So we have to be in the detective career. Uh, and then we also have to be in the, the uh, entertainer career eventually. So we have a lot of career stuff that we need to work on. We have like two careers to get through, a lot of skills to max. Um, and I think I'm gonna send her alone to this day of work because we already have the stuff to get promoted. So I'm just gonna have her work hard and see if we can get the promotion today. Um, and this is the house. It's uh, obviously all very peachy in color scheme. This is my Sims bedroom, her mom's bedroom. We have our office. Um, these will be our kids' rooms. We don't have any kids yet. Um, this is our brother's room. And I think we'll probably try and um, maybe have a kid today. I'm not sure. We do have a boyfriend. His name is Link and we met him at work. So wait, Ken is no more. Oh yeah. Last time we played, I had a cat for a while. The cat passed away when we played last. Play The Sims 4 for five hours. This is what I mean by the aspirations are so bugged. Look, it's giving me like all these aspirations. I did not just max anything. I had that a long time ago. But it's giving them to me all right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Congrats for playing The Sims for five hours. <laughs> this is my, I, I'm just starting out. Five hours into The Sims for the first time ever. Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> Um, Brat, so actually, we're, we're a little bit past eight generations, I can show you. Um, in, in reality, what I have done is played 18 generations, um, in this save. And I've been playing it for a couple years in real life. But I played like 10 generations and then played not so very afterward. Um, so this is the actual family tree. <laughs> and to answer your question, it's taken a long time. A really, really, really long time, so. How does your tree not break? It's kind of broken. Um, I had way more kids than this. All the the people up here are starting to disappear. So, um, yeah. I like, I've really enjoyed playing in this one save like for a long time. It's been kind of fun for me to like really embrace this save. What's wrong with you? Your fun's low? I keep cheating the horse's need because I don't want to deal with the horse. No, that sounds bad. It's just like, it's too much to have all these things, all these sims. <laughs> Moon Pearl, 
and Lady and Rock and Ethan and Delta and Ashley and Bailey and, and Blunt and Jay and Drew and Jam and Lena and Breville. Thank you all for the subs, everybody. One day you'll accidentally delete it. No, I don't think so. I want, this is gonna sound really bad, but I want the horse's grave, so I'll, I'll let it stay. I'll let it stay. No, the horse is only an adult, I think. Which makes things even worse. Okay. Georgia, you have work, but you don't have any skills. So maybe I should have you work on that. Do you want to play some chess? <sighs> Why are there so many graves though? Well, I just showed you I've played 18 generations. Lots of Sims. Long time. If you haven't seen those previous streams, by the way, you really don't need to worry. That was so long ago. I, I honestly couldn't even name most of them. So don't worry. <laughs> that is completely unrelated to the current gameplay. Um, each generation is kind of its own thing, so. And we're just starting this one because we're about to like try and get married and have kids. So you've come at a good time if you haven't seen yet. Okay, royalty report. Taking a nap. I could do with a nap right now too. Will I play one time at Sandrock? You know, I want to. There's so many, there's so many games that have come out in the past like few months that I want to play and there's not enough time to do them. There's so much that I want to do. <laughs> Um, do you want to try and write another book? I'm, I'm big into my City Skylines era right now. Um, I have to emotionally recover from that and then maybe I can play another game. So, Apocalypse tomorrow! Oh my goodness. Okay, I've been naming all the books about Barbie. This is Barbie Apocalypse, apparently. <laughs> yeah, and see the thing is, Coral Island comes out next week and I want to play that. It's just like there's so much, um, so much that I want to do, so. Build a house without using the base game. Yeah, you know, I, I've talked about that. I've done that kind of thing before for like videos and streams and stuff. The problem with like not using the base game is like, what's the, what's the line? Cause walls are base game, <laughs> you know? Are we just talking furniture? Like, um, it would actually be really hard to, to do that, but it might be an interesting challenge, so. Um. There's not that many options for like roof textures and stuff that aren't base games. So it's kind of interesting to try and do things, things like that. We have a lot more packs now, so it might be easier now. I haven't done it in a while. Or we do no base game at all and we don't even have walls. <laughs> Furniture on an empty lot. How about that? <laughs> okay, annoyingly, my brother is going to work soon and I forgot to take care of your needs, sorry. I'm a little bit distracted at the moment. Leave me alone. Try using debug of other packs as walls. Yeah, I've done a house that was all debug and I had to use fake walls like that. Um, I have done that before, it's not good. Just use outdoor retreat. Oh, they can have a tent. Okay, that's done. You could try Dead by Daylight. They are adding Chucky. Yeah, I, um, Dead by Daylight is not for me. I say this with so much love. Dead by Daylight is not for me. Dan, um, I am married to a Dead by Daylight streamer. Dead by Daylight is not for me. <laughs> it's scary. I don't like it. I think the game stresses me out. <laughs> so, I think we've had enough Dead by Daylight. No, I played it on stream a couple weeks ago. Or last week or whenever. Before Halloween, I played it on stream. Um... We'll do it occasionally, but. You love Chucky, wish I wasn't so scared of playing TBD, really? Yeah, I don't know. Dan was telling me, um, I, to be honest, I'm not fully up to speed on the, the lore and the drama about this Chucky Dead by Daylight thing. Um, but from my understanding, I think that yesterday, um, it was going to be announced yesterday and they had all their stuff prepped to announce it yesterday. And they had done like an interview with IGN or something. And then IGN published the interview too early. So it leaked. They, they made it this far until the day of the announcement. And then it leaked. Isn't that so sad? That just would make me want to cry if I worked on it. It's just like, that sucks. And then you trust someone to give them early access to get like a, an interview and information to like advertise it and then at least a couple hours early that sucks <laughs> you have especially because like with with games like this they have massive announcements planned they have like all the the way they want to say it planned and then it gets just taken <laughs> so that stinks but anyway i don't really follow dead by daylight stuff so 
I feel like I think a lot of their stuff leaks, sort of like ours does, but um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, come on, let's get some food. Let's get some food. Yeah, they had a leak yesterday, Emily. Sad, sad, sad. <laughs> it's similar stuff where it leaks as soon as like outsiders get their hands on it. Stuff like that often happens. Um, but this time almost feels worse because it was like guaranteed for sure an accident, you know? Like a lot of times with leaks, like with the Sims leaks, I don't think it's an accident so much. I think that oftentimes it's like the wrong person gets their hands on it with the Sims stuff, but with this one where it's like a company that they worked with on purpose to do an interview and they published it early, like that sucks when it's definitely an accident, you know? It's clown time. See, redeem it. Oh my God, redeem it, redeem it, redeem. Oh, <laughs> clown discord roll, a million points. Can I give it to you? Can I be the one? I want to. Rolls, clown. <laughs> the honor, that is very exciting. There is literally a handful of people that have that role, by the way. Um, a handful of people. <laughs> So that is a very impressive feat. Okay, you can go to bed at 3 p.m., sorry. Uh, the clown discord roll is a high achievement, by the way, to the folks in chat. It's just a point reward that is a million points, so it's like hard to get, you have to be here a lot. Um, and then you get a roll on our discord server. All right, princess, you, my friend, oh, are you gonna get promoted today? You're joking, you have to. Really? Maybe I should have gone with her. Oh, now she's dazed from mental fog. I don't want to deal with this. I hate burnout. It's the most annoying feature. Ugh. Okay. 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 That's fine. That's fine. What does it want me to do? Exercise some creative skills, take a break. Maybe, what, do you want to like try and play the piano or something? Maybe that'll help your burnout. If you have mental fog burnout. It happens too often. The burnout is too frequent. It's really annoying. I don't like dealing with it. Like it's just too much. It's so inconvenient. I want my Sims to be forced to work nonstop on their skill building. <laughs> yeah, doing like um, yoga and stuff helps too. We've been, we've been doing a fair bit of that. I don't think I have a yoga mat in the new house yet. We just built this house, but. Um, I have to work on this skill too, so it won't hurt to, to do a little bit of piano. <sighs> Does that work in real life too? I'm <laughs> so tired of burnout. If only, if only burnout just didn't exist in real life either. Wouldn't that be really nice? You know, if you could just like pl play the piano for two seconds and all of a sudden you're good. <laughs> that would make life a lot easier. <laughs> The thing is, you can't make a joke about like, oh, I'll go on a date. You can't make a joke about like meditating or doing yoga to clear burnout because honestly, I think that works in real life too. <laughs> the piano, not so much, but people speak very highly of things like that. Like going for a jog to clear your mind. People speak very highly of doing that in real life. I must say I don't jog, so I wouldn't know. But um, it sounds like that does work in real life, which is, you know. You have to go outside and it's hot and like, that stings. <laughs> okay, this is my, my Sims boyfriend. We met him at work and now I'm at the pumpkin patch. I built this last year, honestly, it's cute. Good work, let's get some dinner. Oh, okay, let's get some dinner. <laughs> it does work, it's just annoying to make yourself do it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my brother's here with his wife. Well, that's nice. Would you look at that? Okay, come on. You look like you're having a good time, princess. This is the problem with her name. It sounds like, it sounds like people are being condescending to me. I had a sim called Baby in my legacy challenge recently on YouTube as well. And every time someone talked, it sounds so like bad. <laughs> You having a good time, princess? <laughs> you having a good time, baby? Like, ooh. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> okay, let's get some sparkling apple juice. 
Maybe you can have some calming chamomile. Oh, you know who needs that? My stressed out sim. How about that? Okay, then maybe we could get some pumpkin stew for the both of us from the pumpkin patch. Lovely. Sounds like a pet name. Yeah, but like when a stranger says it, it sounds awful, doesn't it? <laughs> Ooh, they're flirting. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, we aren't even actually dating yet. Okay, I'll ask him to be my boyfriend then. Come on. Okay, we've stood up to do this then. That's okay, I guess. Yay! Oh. You, um. Do I want to accept this or not? I'm trying to decide. I don't know if I want this. It's the peach generation and we have to switch careers and stuff. So I don't know if this is the best job. Sorry, you can't have that one. Sorry. Oh, oh my gosh. It's not really a very nice day to be at the pumpkin patch, is it? <laughs> uh oh, Deal and Phoebe and Shannon and Witch and Royal and JC and Julie, thank you for the subs. Um, tell a funny story, how about that? Oh, no. Yeah, if she has to change jobs and she's loyal, I think it'll make her sad. Oh, this is terrible. We have to go to work at 8 a.m. I haven't got my food yet. Michaela, you're not being very fast. I might have to leave before dinner. Yeah. You want to live together? Oh. Um. <laughs> um. Okay, yes. Yes, I think it's the right time. Oh, wait, I said it's not the right time. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, 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 no. I pressed the wrong button. Uh, I'm fixing it. It's fine. No, 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 no. Talk about marriage. Sorry. <laughs> we, I can remove the sentiment. That's not fair. That's not fair. I didn't mean for that to happen. That was an accident. <laughs> maybe. Okay, maybe it is too soon. I'm gonna go home. We don't, we don't need to do that yet. We can hold off. We just started dating him today. <laughs> We want to have, we want to move in and like have kids in this stream, but this stream doesn't have to mean right now. Where do I live? Tertosa, sorry. This stream doesn't have to mean like, you know, this moment. We can spread it out. <laughs> Yikes. How are the sewer kitties doing? Oh, I haven't shown you guys a cat update in a few days, have I? I've like not done it as much since things have been very, the, everything's like kind of calming down. There's less chaos. Okay, um, oh, here's one. You're gonna like this. I've got a video for you. First of all, first and foremost, I am refusing to accept any shape or form of judgment from the chat for what I'm about to say, okay? I put up my Christmas tree yesterday. Yes, I did, and I don't feel bad about it. I love Christmas. Oh, he's burnt out too. No judgment from the chat. I don't wanna hear one person be like, you went about Thanksgiving. Shut up. Christmas is more fun. It can last the whole time. Thanksgiving is basically Christmas light. Anyway, um, <laughs> I put the Christmas tree up yesterday. Uh, um, let me get this video off my phone so I can show you. I put the Christmas tree up yesterday and this is a video of the kittens underneath the Christmas tree, okay? Um, just watch very closely. That one's shrimp. Watch very closely. Okay. She's in there. <laughs> they were playing underneath the tree skirt. So you like the Christmas tree? The both of them were playing underneath the tree skirt. I forget if she popped out again, but they were like chasing each other around underneath the tree skirt because they love blankets so much. But yeah, she's under there. I looked over and I was like, oh, the thing is moving. Oh, they're both in it. <laughs> so there's a little, there's a little gift underneath the tree. Um, also, this is a fun picture. This is a nice um, size comparison so that you can see the two kittens and see how much bigger he is than her. Oops, that's no good. Look at this. <laughs> Isn't that 
ridiculous. <laughs> Tiny, big, <laughs> but there's a good size comparison of the two cats. He is really big for, he's just big. And he's also a boy, which makes him bigger than her, but the, she's not like small or, or like underweight or anything. She's fine, but he's just big. And he makes her look so tiny. <laughs> uh, it's a jumbo shrimp. So anyway, very, very cute. I thought you would like that. Um, Oh, here's a picture also from last night. Apparently Dan took this picture. Where did it go? I lost it. Here's a picture from last night that apparently Dan took of um, shrimp asleep next to me. That's my leg. I was asleep, so I didn't know. But he came into the bed in the middle of the night um, and slept with me, so. Yeah, he's only like five months old. They're gonna get a lot bigger. He's so long, isn't he? <laughs> uh, but he likes to sleep on the bed, so. I wake up in the middle of the night and there's a cat next to me. I don't really, I don't notice him coming and going because he, he's big for a kitten, but he's still only a kitten. Like he's smaller than Snap. He's about the same size as Snap actually. Um, but I don't really notice him coming and going. I just wake up and there's a cat there. <laughs> so. Um, Snap never has slept on the bed overnight. Snap is more of a, I'm gonna put you to bed and then leave and then come back in the morning kind of gal. She doesn't really sleep on the bed so much. Um, she'll she'll stay there from like, I usually go to bed at like 11. She'll be there until like 1230, at like after midnight and then she'll come back again in the morning. I don't know what she does overnight to be honest. I don't know where she goes or what she gets up to. I wake up in the morning, her toys are in different places. So she's busy, she's a busy girl. She's got lots of plans at nighttime, so. <laughs> <laughs> but she puts me to bed. She goes and sits on the bed and screams until I come to bed. Like she literally puts me to bed, so. <laughs> um, anyway, and they, they tolerate each other quite well. Um, they'll like Snap, well, the kittens don't care about Snap. They don't, they don't have to tolerate Snap. The kittens like Snap. Snap tolerates the kittens is a more important distinction. Um, I wonder if I've got any good, I have so many pictures of cats. Oh, here's one. You're gonna like this one. This is a picture of Snap. Um, in this image, uh, she came up here and started sniffing him because he was asleep. And then in this, you can see he woke up, right? But she walks up onto my lap. I'm here and trips on his blanket and she starts sniffing him. And then he wakes up and looks at her. And as soon as he looked at her, she got really mad and she started hissing at him. You were right up in his face. I don't know why you're acting like, don't look at me. You were right there, but Snap... <laughs> she went up to him. <laughs> he just opened his eyes. Sorry that you woke him up. Like, <sighs> anyway, she's she started it. She's a strange one. She got embarrassed. She got caught and she got embarrassed. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, she's doing she's doing quite well. She doesn't want to she doesn't like it when they get near her Like if they come up behind her she gets upset and stuff, but that's just I think because she can't hear so she like uh, Is quite easily startled by them um, But she uh, They're not friends yet, but they're Working on it <laughs> Yeah, she's a real drama queen though, especially compared to like my parents cat lemon has become such fast friends with Frank and Sam. Like, less so Frank, more so Sam. Frank, um, they don't like groom each other like Sam and Lemon do. But Lemon will like walk up and start grooming the kitten. Meanwhile, Snap walks up, sniffs the kitten, then he wakes up and she hisses at him. But it was her fault. You went up to him. But they're not like enemies or anything, so that's good. <laughs> she gets better and better every day, so. That's not a cat tower, that's a cat castle. Yeah, it's a big cat tree. There's a lot of cats though. The kittens go up really high and Snap does not because she's quite old now. She goes up like mid-tier, so it works quite well. <laughs> it works quite well, there's space for everybody. <laughs> okay, you can go to sleep. Um, and then you can go to sleep too. How old is Snap? She's 15. Um, she's not like ancient ancient, but she's definitely a senior cat, so let's go to sleep. Okay, everyone, let me turn the auto lights on again. Good, that worked out. She's a distinguished lady, there you go. 
<laughs> there you go. Uh, Kate, we've talked about doing that because I'm playing in it right now, so we've talked about renovating it. Um, I have rebuilt it before. Might try and find it. She's a teenager. It explains the attitude. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Chloe, this this house, the bills are so expensive. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Have I saved? No, I should. Yikes. <laughs> Kayla and Cam and Roca and Sam and Cece and Smorley and Babbling and Brianna and Tana and Peachy. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Yeah, I would probably benefit from getting the frugal train. I don't know. When did Snap's hearing weekend? Um, you know, it's over the past couple of years, it's been happening. Um, I didn't notice it as much initially, but I noticed she started getting a lot more vocal, like in the past couple years, like like she yells so much, <laughs> so loud. She didn't really used to. Um, and, and now like she's, it's it's getting worse. Like she's not really very aware of her surroundings anymore. Um, I keep calling it that her spidey senses are, are going. Like she doesn't really notice when you walk up behind her. She can't like feel you near her because she also can't hear you near her. So you can walk up like this close to her and she won't notice if she's not looking at you. Um, but her little spidey senses aren't so good and she can't hear that well anymore, so. She can hear some things, but mostly like just really loud, high-pitched things. Um, and like, not like voices and stuff, but loud and high-pitched she can hear. Um, I don't think she can hear the kittens at all, so. I think that it, I think that probably contributes to her like, wariness of them. It's just that she doesn't know where they are, so they can come up behind her quite easily. And like, you know, she doesn't like it. <laughs> Um, okay, let's see, you wanna get some food? Are you fully rested? Kind of. Get leftovers. Um, Snap's always been quite cuddly, so I don't know if she's gotten more cuddly as she got older. Oh my god, Pulp! <laughs> oh no! I don't know if she's gotten more cuddly because she's always been quite cuddly with me. Um, but I know a lot of senior cats get more cuddly as they get older. Pulp is blue! It's okay, I've got vet treats, I can fix it. I can fix it, I can fix it! <laughs> oh, maybe that's why you thought Pulp was a dust bunny. Yeah, that's no good, Pulp. You are not... You're not looking so good. Yikes. Your fortunate little cat has never liked cuddles. Yeah, some cats are just not very cuddly. Um, some cats are just not really at all very cuddly. Um, is Pulp immortal or something? Yeah, yeah, I keep giving Pulp age down treats so that she never leaves me. <laughs> it's interesting seeing- oh, wrong place. Can you bathe Pulp in- oh, maybe you can just get out of there. And then I can bathe Pulp in that shower. Um, something interesting about the kittens, like seeing their personalities all develop and stuff. Um, so I have two kittens right now and my older cat, Snap, and the two kittens, Shrimp, the boy, is very cuddly. Like, he doesn't necessarily want to sit on you, but he wants to sit next to you constantly. Like, he really likes to be, like, sitting on the couch with me and sitting on the bed with me and sleeping on the bed with me. Sunny is not so cuddly, but she is extremely affectionate and she wants to follow me around. Like, Sunny wants to be in the same room as me at pretty much all times and she'll, like, follow me around and, like, run around my feet. <laughs> uh, but she's not so cuddly. She likes to sit on her cat tree and on- I have a lot of cat trees. She'll sit on the cat tree instead of on the couch or on the bed, but she'll want to be near me at all times, which is kind of cute. Um, there, she's not very cuddly though at all, so it's just kind of interesting to me to see how they're getting a little different, you know? Okay, you can go back to sleep again until you have work probably. Um, yeah, I, you hear that about boy cats being a little bit more, um, in your words, clingy, <laughs> but um, it's interesting to see them being a little different, so. Okay, maybe you could come uh, tell some jokes while we wait for work to start. Oh, I should have worked a, a fire has started. Oh my god, at this point I might as well just let him die. I don't have time for this! Put the fire out! I have to go to work! Stop! What are you doing? <gasps> Put the fire out! <laughs> I 
I'm just going to work, I guess. <laughs> just going to work, that's fine. Okay, bye. Good luck at home, everybody. <laughs> Sophia and Redhead and Brooklyn and Victoria, thank you for the subs. Uh-oh. It's not my problem. They can deal with it. They'll be fine. Good luck. <laughs> I wasn't actually going to let him die, okay? I wasn't. I wasn't. All right, let's analyze some evidence. What a time to come in. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, we can work on this. We'll try and get as much as we done done as we can for the work day today. All right, you want to analyze evidence again? Oh, because the analysis failed. Uh-oh. Yikes. Well, we try again. We'll find out after work if he survived. <laughs> we'll just go home and find out. No, he'll be fine. The fire was out when I left. So it's okay. I saw it with my own eyes. The fire was out. Um, cross reference the police database. I don't know. Yeah, Pamela, we talked about that. I'm a bit worried about replacing the police station during the day. I might wait until right before I leave for work. Um, or leave to go home from work, I mean. To replace it, but I, I have rebuilt the police station before. Um, let me see. That was me trying to find pancakes so I didn't have to cook any, but no one uploads just plain pancakes to the gallery. Sad. <laughs> I had to cook them. I couldn't just get them. All right. Police. Has anybody else done it? Oh, I'm in rooms. Maybe if I scroll far enough. I don't know what mine is called on the gallery is the problem. I don't know how to find it. I might have to build it again. Is it in my library or is it too old? Uh oh. It was there? Oh, I scrolled past it. Did you see how far down? Lil Simsy, Lil Simsy, Lil Simsy, Lil Simsy, Lil Simsy, Lil Simsy. What if it's bad? Oh, Kayla! Lil Simsy, Lil Simsy. Second row? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is from 2017? Well, no. Well, no, I won't be doing that. I'll just make a new one. <laughs> That's a long time ago. That's vintage. <laughs> well, I might have to build a new one then. Not today, but maybe at some point. That's old. <laughs> I've done it. I've definitely done it more recently than that. I just, if it won't load on the gallery, then I don't know how to find it, so. Oh. Are you done cross-referencing the police database? What are you doing? Cross-reference. Get it together. Come on. It wants me to do it again? How many more of these do I have to do? I mean, it's easy, so I might as well. Add clues to the crime map. I can do that. No, there isn't a police station lot type because you can't, um, you can't technically build this lot. You have to use cheats to be able to access build mode. So. Look, at, why is it having me just keep adding clues over and over again? <laughs> well, that's easy. Discuss case theories with coworkers. I could probably issue the APB. Come on, we'll go do it. Um, why is all why is all of chat talking about how 2017 was eight years ago? 2017 wasn't eight years ago. <laughs> um, it's 2023. <laughs> there was a collective um, 
collective no math in there. <laughs> Maybe someone said it by accident. All right. A suspect fit in the description has been seen. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let me look at my notebook. Jacket, brown hair, shorts, teen, loner, male. Jacket, brown hair, shorts, teen, male. Hello? Oh, there's a dog park here. I forgot I put this in Newcrest. Okay, um, there's nobody here. <laughs> there is a nice, solid... Zero. Oh, here we go. That's not a jacket, though. Let me ask you about the suspect. Brown hair. Male shorts. I think it must be him and the jacket thing is a false alarm. Hope it's right, because <laughs> if not, that would be really bad. Sometimes they change clothes because of seasons, so. Uh, Petals and Nox, thank you for the subs, both of you. Um, okay. Is he a loner? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> There's only one person there, and he, he matched almost all of the descriptions, so. Um... I don't really have any desire to interrogate the suspect, I must say. This kind of makes me uncomfortable. I don't know if I like this career. <laughs> I, I said I would do it. It's I wanted to play through all the get to work careers, but... Yikes. Why is she dazed? Oh, she was feeling burnt out. <sighs> okay. Good cop. Ask politely for information. Tell personal story. Ask about crime. Yeah, there's the jacket. <laughs> it was outside in the hot weather, so he was wearing a hot weather outfit. Offer candy bar? Make small talk? I don't know. Um, show some fingerprint evidence. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god. No. Snap. Hi, Snappy. Oh, you've not been on stream in weeks. You only come when I'm not live. No, 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 don't leave. Oh. She came to say hi and then she left. <laughs> she left already. She just wanted to say hi. I think she was just checking on us. Oh my god. Well, we got too excited. I, I reacted too strongly. I should have played it cool. Well. <laughs> well. She keeps coming in when I'm not live. Like yesterday, I was in the morning. Uh, I was live at like 9 a.m. And I had all three cats in here from like 8.30 until like 8.55. And then I was going live at 9. Of course, the cats all left. Because of course they did. It's like they knew. <laughs> they sense it. They knew that I was like about to go live, so they said, never mind, we won't be on camera for free. <laughs> we won't be on camera for free. Um, he seems worried. The suspect appears to be guilty. Time to put this criminal behind bars. When does the workday end? Yeah, now. Okay, we got promoted. We make a grand total of 38 simoleons an hour. We got a ton of stuff. We got all of the like jail stuff. So that's fun. <laughs> the cats demand compensation. Yeah, they do. The thing is, the cats run this house. <laughs> we can make a jail now if we wanted to. I don't really know if I should do that, but I could. We'll see. <laughs> we shall see. Okay, um, if I wanted to put a basement, where would I put the staircase to it? Oh, you know what we could do? 
in this little section in the storage room. Now hold on everybody. We might be onto something with this. We could put the basement over here. You see? And then the storage room makes more sense. And then they can get into it from down here. And then, I don't know, we'll figure something out from there, I guess. Cute! Okay, um, what do we have? <gasps> A lot. I might sell some of these things. I don't really need these shelves. I don't need the horse poop. Um, I could do with some lights though. Okay. This is the impenetrable. What's that? Justice dispenser. Which one is the... What is the difference? That's pretty good money. I think one might be a door, but I don't know which one. Okay. I looked away for five minutes. Why is there a jail? Oh, because I got promoted at work and they're, they gave me these things. So I thought I might as well use them. Um, no, I don't need that. Maybe I could put this thing down here. Who's it for? I don't know. Unclear. We'll have to see. Um, okay, maybe I'll put like some stone floors. I'll find a use for it. And if we don't find a use for it, well then it's just in the basement. And that's fine too. There is no door, it's just the bars. Oh, so what's the difference between the two bars? There's not, the bars on this wall are made of titanium and dolomite. See, I read them twice. I don't think that, I don't understand what the difference is. They look the same. That's just a lighting glitch, making the lighting look different on them. So they look like different colors, but they're not. No, the doors, it wouldn't be in doors. Um, and they're not taller than the other. They're the, they're the same. Look, that's one, that's two. They're different colors by default, but they come in the same colors. And the descriptions are different, but... I don't get it. What I prefer to do instead of that, when I'm trying to build things like this, there's a fence. I usually prefer to use this fence instead because then you can like lock it properly. This is kind of my preference over the... Is that the same color? Oh my God. But anyway, I usually use that instead. So. Anyway, I think there is a door, but it's not one of those two. So that's what I don't understand what the difference between the two of them is, but I don't really care. Sorry to be a pain, but can I get a close-up of pulp? Yeah, yeah, anytime. Here you go. Screenshot. We can't put Vlad in jail because he's dead. Yeah. I, I killed him a long time ago, unfortunately. So we can't do that. I have to switch aspirations too because we, we can't do the entertainer career until we max this current career. And we're only level three. <laughs> Oh my god. You had the baby! Oh wait. Let me see it. Abby! Oh, that's a nice name. I like that. Okay. Um, 
Do you want to just get yourself some food? I might, I might see about um, having the boyfriend move in today then. You might as well. No, there's no land grabs left either. So I'm, I don't need to put anybody in this, in this. It's more just for fun. Oh, skunk. Yeah, we can go. Maybe I'll bring my boyfriend. We'll go to the spice festival together. Yeah, I like the names Abby and Colette together. That's kind of cute. That's a pretty, pretty name combo. Yeah, Skunk is, th he's a, a sim that we work with. I didn't name him that. He came with that name and I really like him for it. So. Impenetrable is wall, justice dispenser is door, but they are decorative, broken and bugged. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, it's my old fake apartment building! I built this- oh look, gosh, we're landing on the roof. I built this for the, uh, the red generation, the rose gen of Not So Berry, and like, each floor was an apartment. And now, obviously with the pack coming out, this is gonna be functional. We use this to give context. That was gen 2 of Not So Berry, this is gen 8. Yeah. Grab a poster. Long time ago. It'll be fun to go back and edit that, because I, I would enjoy that. Okay, where's my boyfriend? I don't even see my friend who invited me here, so... Things are not going very well. I'll try the spice challenge, why don't I? Um... Are they here now? Can you change out of this? I'm sorry, you can't keep wearing this. It's really embarrassing. Okay, thank you. <sighs> um, yeah, I don't see him. Lincoln, invite to hang out at current lot. Please? Lincoln will be right over. We'll see about that. I don't think he's coming. <sighs> Maybe the lot is like broken or something. Well, you can just eat food by yourself then. We can just sample food, I don't mind. That's fine. <laughs> what do you want? I'm not getting married for money, leave me alone. Uh, Holly and Sir and Julia and Erika and Kat and Kai and Maddie, thank you for the subs. Okay. Um, do I want to buy anything else while I'm here? I don't really think so. It's not going that well. The festivals have been- I've been having trouble getting people to come with me. This happens when I- when I try and bring people to the Planet Honey Pop for the, um, Romance Festival. I keep having trouble getting people to show up there, too. So maybe it's like a city living bug. Because I'm really having a lot of trouble with it. Very annoying. Yeah, Ava, the Fort Rent expansion pack comes out, is it December 7th that they said? I think so. I, I, I knew it was, I just wanted to check before I said it out loud. It's the 7th, yeah. So about a month away for the expansion pack. All right. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. A bug in The Sims 4? Never. The Sims 4, famously, uh, the game with zero bugs. <laughs> Never had a bug in its life. Uh, the Sims 4, right? Okay, let me triple check how our uh, skills are doing. So for Not So Berry, um, for the- Ah, I can't click on my own link. For Not So Berry, for the Peach Generation, um, we need to have the gourmet cooking and comedy skills max. Uh oh, sorry. I yawned. We also have to play an instrument, which we do, but there's no maxing required for the instrument. You just have to play one. Um, and as far as our skills go, we have piano four. I have cooking five, so I need to get a move on. I have gourmet cooking two, which we're not doing very well with. And then for uh, comedy, we have seven. I might do some gourmet cooking. The next color is green after this. Let's make a Caesar salad. How about that? Okay. Are you begging for this food, Pulp? Leave me alone. Please. 
All right, that's one. Let's make another one too. Georgia has the workaholic lifestyle. Oh, yikes. Okay, maybe tomorrow after work, I'll, I'll get my boyfriend to move in with me. Not today, because I'm busy today. I'm cooking. <laughs> Will the green gen move into the new world? Maybe. Oh, I hadn't even considered that. Well, when we were planning the green gen, there was no new world to even, to even think of. So <laughs> maybe that might be kind of fun. What were you doing in the basement? We might want to start getting a move on with this so that the kid is like grown up and ready by then. Coca gourmet meal. Let's make one more. I'm trying to make a little bit so we can build our skill more. You think the boyfriend should take a little vacation in the basement? No! <laughs> and yeah, the green gen is going to marry a spellcaster. That's the plan, yeah. Um. That is the plan. Oh, well, Luma, I would I would never encourage any of you. Okay. I was going to say, I would never encourage any of you to buy a Sims pack before um, people are able to post like reviews on YouTube and stuff. Oh my God, put the fire out so that you know for sure. So that you know for sure it is good and it works and stuff. I, I would never buy one in advance of that. Um, anyway, <laughs> I was rudely interrupted by a bit of a nightmare. Um, that is our second fire of the day, everybody. Really good. My Sims experiencing burnout. Also really good. Um, yeah, also this is this is destroyed now. Do you see that? We have bills due in two days and we just spent 2,000 simoleons replacing our kitchen. Yeah. You know, Christine, when you put it like that, it sounds really bad, doesn't it? <laughs> Can you go to bed? Can you go to bed? Can everybody go to bed, please? <sighs> All right, come on, everyone, let's go. Auto lights. Everybody's asleep. How are you doing, horsey? Cheat need. No, 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 no. Cheat need. Make happy. There you go, horsey. Who are you? Ashley Swan. Okay. <sighs> All right. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. There is a grave command, yeah. We'll have to, someone should should pull it up so we can see how many graves we have, because I'm not sure. Mm -mm. No, I won't kill the horse, I promise. I am waiting patiently for the, oh my God. Oh. Pulp. Also, can I get rid of this? I don't, I don't wish to be burnt out any longer. Okay, it's gone. And you know what? That's, that's because my life is hard today. <laughs> I'll cheat and eat if I need to. I'm gonna kick this guy out soon, I think. Um, I'm just quite stressed out with all my Sims, like, <sighs> jobs and stuff. Too much going on. We have to post on the board about pulp. Everybody's too tired, though. Maybe you could do it. Um... Um, social, post, little missing pet. I always forget which one it's under. Oh, he has his enemies to lovers arc, doesn't he? We've got this Sim Summer. Oh, we can try and get to know her more today and then we can have a move out with her. That'll be good. So we'll have less Sims to worry about and then we can start having children, which is gonna be more Sims to worry about. <laughs> Oh, okay. Everyone just keep sleeping. We'll go straight to work at eight. Try and get promoted. Uh-oh, Alan! Sorry, 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 sorry. Fill food, play with. Get up, get up! Take care of Alan quick. Oh yeah, Barbie's bedroom does have a great view. Look at that. 
Sharks, graves. Sharks, graves. <laughs> perfect. Absolutely perfect and excellent. Okay. Um, I guess you can keep sleeping a little longer. I think some more blowout. Yeah, we'll, we'll have the boyfriend move in today then. That'll be good. Um, let's get leftovers. Maybe you don't have to clean that. We can have your siblings help clean in. Oh, you smell. Yikes. Okay. Well, we have work. Any minute. What are you doing? I locked it. I locked it. It's fine. Oh my god. Yikes. We have no money. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we have work from 9 to 6. I'm gonna try and get us as much work progress as we can so we can get promoted. <laughs> oh no. You guys, we have- our bills are gonna be 9,000 simoleons. Okay. <laughs> Uh oh, <laughs> that fire was really bad, actually. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, we'll try again. It's a shame we aren't marrying for money. Yeah, well, I could have, but then I didn't, and now look at me. Oh god. Becky, Ted, Orion, thank you for the subs, everybody. Yeah, the 9k bills are a little bit out of our price range, but thankfully my sim can write a bunch of books and stuff, so... Might be okay. No, I don't- I don't play with having each gen start from the bottom of the again, Plum Bob, but the problem is our house is- is sort of more expensive than we can currently afford. That's kind of the issue that we're facing, um, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Just don't pay the bills! Oh, okay, that sounds good. All right, I have to do this interrogation again, which I'm really displeased about, but it's okay. I need to do it for for work. Get a confession. Oh, and we got 1,500 from the books, so that's better than nothing. Oh, Marvin? Is that my Marvin? Oh dear. We- I forget who it was. One of my sims- maybe it was Peppa's husband? I think Peppa- I think Peppa dated Marvin, and then we killed him. I forget why. He might have called my house ugly or something. But I think that's my- my aunt's dead ex-boyfriend. Did you just get your badge? Would it be possible to speak to a more senior officer? No, now, now this is what I'm talking about. Do you see why I killed him now? First, I think he cheated on Peppa. He like asked to go on a date with someone else. And now this. That's why he's dead, folks. And I don't feel bad for him. So. Okay, I have to exercise for one hour. I guess I'll do that next. And then maybe I will go on patrol. <sighs> Wait, no, keep exercising. You have to get an hour. A full hour. Come back. Come back. I don't want to put him in my basement because I don't want to look at him longer than I have to. That sounds unpleasant. How come that hasn't counted yet? Stop, 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 stop! Oh my god. Surely it should have counted by now. I've decided it did count. <laughs> I've decided it counts. I'm gonna go on patrol quickly. I don't plan on staying on patrol, but I'll go and then I'll come back. <sighs> See, that's why you need UI cheats. You can't trust the game. You need to have cheats. Otherwise, what are you going to do? Suffer? No way. <laughs> 
No, it hasn't crashed today, Sailor. Don't. <laughs> now that you say that, I'm gonna save my game real quick. <laughs> now that you point that out, let me just save really fast. Um, it wants me to spend two hours on patrol. Is that entirely necessary? I guess this is my brother, so. Oh! Well. It sounds like this might be the time for you to get. Oh, you beat up my brother! Oh, no way. Issue citation. Sometimes when I go on patrol, it doesn't work. And now I go on patrol and it works fine? Like, what? I don't. Ah! What is wrong with all of you? Okay, this is the first interesting interesting patrol that I've ever had, and I'm not kidding about that. I think my brother attacked me. Um, mods, can we get an additional two graves written there in the graves command, please? I just found two more. It's not that holiday. No, it's, oops, it's big summer blowout, isn't it? It's not even a... It's not even Neighborhood Brawl Day. I'll issue you another citation, how about that? I'll just keep going till I get my two hours on patrol. Yeah, I took their graves. I'm bringing them home with me. So. Yeah, those are random people's graves, yeah. I like to keep them. I have sort of a collection going, so. It's like a souvenir. <laughs> I'll show you. You'll see. When I, well, not yet. I have to get home first. I'm too busy being at work. I have like 267, so... Yeah. Get a case assignment. I can do that. Get started on the next thing. Why don't we? Come here. Give me a case assignment. I have to work here until 6. This is why the detective career and like all the get to work ones, they're fun in theory, but they're kind of like repetitive. Yeah, we have in the politics career. The politics career is the one that you have to do for gen two um, of this legacy challenge. So I have done it in the Rose generation of Not So Berry. I don't really want to travel to the crime scene. Um. I guess I could try and take mug shots for now. I don't know. Come here, I'm gonna get some little pictures taken, please. Princess's workday will end in one hour. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> I wanna go home. <laughs> Lynn, it's gonna be tonight. I'm gonna be live again tonight. I'm I'm planning on streaming twice today. We'll be live now and then again at um again at 9 p.m. It's currently five, so in a few hours we'll be live again. All right, 445 simoleons is not a lot of money, so that's no good. Um, but oh well. <laughs> I wonder, maybe we could buy one of those reward traits that helps us get promoted faster. I think that me and Steve are gonna play Fall Guys. I think that's what we're leaning towards. I, I can ask him, like, right now. Um, but I think we were leaning towards Fall Guys. Emily, thank you for the 17 months, and Ina, thank you for the 39 months. All right, what does sad stream mean? Oh, um, ooh, yikes. Simsy after dark is what it means. Okay, how are we doing for our work performance? Not that good. Let me get in the reward store. Um, what is it called? Entrepreneurial is more likely to get promoted in our career. Maybe I should get frugal too. Yeah, both. That might be good. <laughs> That's gonna help us, okay. <laughs> Um, maybe you could, uh, cook something and then we can invite the boyfriend over. Uh, 
they can go to a rabbit hole rose for the get to work jobs but the the thing is oh cook a gourmet meal um to get promoted you have to go with them because like i'll show you mine again in a second um but i had to interrogate a suspect to get promoted that was like the requirement you know how for some other careers the requirements will be like get level six in this career or whatever um in this one the the requirements are like to actually go in and and do stuff um so i guess you could hypothetically cheat that if you wanted to um but you do you do have to do that to get promoted so we do have to go at least at least occasionally um oh no spell uh nothing wrong with her voice princess is trans um and i didn't change her voice i guess i could but it's not glitched um and maybe you should be a little bit more careful how we talk about things like this but um it's not a glitch um nothing's wrong with her voice so um okay i know this might seem um just to address it really fast it might seem to you like it's just a sim and it doesn't matter we can we can point out about these things but to point out like someone's voice is weird or someone looks a certain way that's weird or to, to point out anything like that 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 might be an insecurity for a person in real life is kind of inappropriate so i know you don't mean any harm um but just in the future uh if i could ask the chat as a whole to be a little bit more careful about how they discuss these things because um if if you say things like that you might be talking about a sim but this is a life sim right and and these sims have a lot of things in common sometimes with real life people and the last thing that we want to do is is have you point out something that might be an insecurity to someone else in real life or or say a thing that might hurt someone in real life because you know joking about a sims nose might just be a sims nose but it's also like a real life person has a nose that looks like that right so just keep that in mind when you talk about sims in my chat and maybe in anybody's chat also but um we try to be quite careful about that here so um okay um, and in this case, nothing wrong with her, with her voice. Nothing wrong with having a deep voice. It doesn't matter, you know? <laughs> um, it doesn't matter. Okay. So I'm gonna go, I think, out with the boyfriend tonight. Um, and then, I don't know where. Maybe somewhere we don't go very often. Maybe, like, hmm, Mount Kamarebi might be kind of fun. We can go to like the lounge or something out there. I'll bring Lincoln. How about that? We could go skiing in the middle of the night. How about that? <laughs> no, probably not skiing, but we can at least come out here and this is a pretty place to maybe talk or something. I don't know. Um, okay. Um... We'll load in. I'm gonna change out of this. Jeez, I don't want to keep walking around in my cop outfit. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, werewolf. Okay. Oh, he wants to use the toilet. Oh, no, well, you don't anymore. Okay, good. Goof around, maybe? Oh, he's feeling tense. I want to ask him to move in with me. That's kind of my goal. I also need to make sure that I don't take his money. 7,563. I'm just gonna ask him to move in right now. Come here. Sell a lot furnishings. Ooh. Yikes. Yeah, I don't want his money because it feels cheaty. 7,563. Okay. Well, nice to meet you, Morgan. Lincoln, sorry, Lincoln Morgan. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get him in a job too. He has the appliance whiz aspiration and like no skills. Okay, cool. He also has a huge family. Look at this. He's a lot of siblings. A lot of them are also dead. Um, but what job should we do then? Um, I guess like the, we talked about like the critic career even, didn't we? You always take their money? Yeah, a lot of people do. I don't, I kind of like when my sims are struggling for money a little bit, um, which I know is bad, but. I don't know. Criminal career, oh my god. <laughs> you, know what we, you know what we talked about actually that I just forgot about? So when we met him, he was a coworker of ours. We met him because he was also a detective. Um, 
but he's not anymore. When I like went into cast with him, it like reset his job. So we talked about making him into a secret agent. Almost like that was maybe a slightly logical um, progression from, from the job that we had before. So maybe I will do that. Okay, do you wanna get drinks, everybody? Let's order some drinks. I don't know, favorite drink, perhaps? I like making my non-committal sims get married for money, then get all stressed and divorced. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that seems really nice. Beastly presents! That is a mean thing to say! <laughs> Whoa! Alright. Yikes, he's talking about the werewolf, but that's so mean! He's just trying to talk, he's doing a little performance. Is your favorite drink water? Oh, sparkling water. What's your favorite drink? Oh, you know what else? She has off work on Monday and Tuesday. Do you think that it would be especially ridiculous for me to try and get pregnant now so the baby will be born when I'm off work? What do you think about that? Ooh, grape nectar. That's a good favorite drink. Maybe I will do it. Okay. Let's go home. I know we're moving fast, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's time. I think it's time. All right, let me go back. Tartosa. Yeah, some sims are left-handed. It's um, it's a hidden trait. Let me see if I can find the trait. Um, there's a, a cheat that you can type in to make your sims left-handed. It's uh, traits dot remove underscore trait space trait underscore handedness right, and then you can uh, do traits dot equip underscore trait trait hands in his left if you wanted to switch the um like dominant hand your sim uses um it's a very small thing but it's kind of interesting um yeah you can do that so it's one long cheat yeah you might want to google that um before you try and type it in <laughs> just copy paste it perhaps um you might want to just google it when you need it um it's easy to find i googled it i found it in two seconds so um yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting little feature that they have in the game, so. A lot of people don't, don't know it. Krista, thank you for the 16 months, and Jacob, and Becca, thank you for the subs. Dan is left-handed. But I think, like a lot of left-handed people, he's like pretty ambidextrous because when he was young, he got forced to use his right hand a lot. So he like does and can use both hands really, really easily, um, which I think is annoying. But a lot of people, like, that are left-handed have that same experience, you know? Um, and I think that's annoying, that you're good at both things, so. Boo. <laughs> but yeah, are you a bunch of you are like that. That's so interesting. I am useless with my left hand. I can't do anything. Um, okay, come on. You can take your little shower, and then... Uh, welcome to the family, by the way, Lincoln. It's so nice to have you here. Um, we're going to try for a baby. <laughs> Come on. We learned our woohoo interest. This is their first time woohooing. We're going to get pregnant. We can use scissors right-handed really well because they don't work in your other hand. Yeah, see? They make the scissors are like right-handed on purpose. The world is not built for left-handed people. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Okay, would you like to take a pregnancy test? Please be pregnant. Please be pregnant. Please be pregnant. Why isn't it working? Hello? Hello? Oh, yay! Let me take a picture. We're gonna have a baby. That feels weird, doesn't it? <laughs> On the toilet? I should have zoomed that in better. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, yikes. <laughs> Just naked. Oh. You also have a left-handed dance. Really? That's funny. Um, okay. 
Would you like to maybe take a shower? Oh, wrong sim. You can take a shower down here. Are you coming to tell your partner about the baby? He's upstairs, why? You went up to our brother's room? Are we gonna cheat and see how many? I don't know. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Is that about where, where it goes? <laughs> Should I check so you can't see? <laughs> no, I'll show you, it doesn't matter. It's just one. It's just one. Um, sorry, that was so mean of me. <laughs> let us see, let us see. I'm not talking about it. I don't wanna see it. We don't have any baby names in mind yet either, do we? Oh, we had a few. We were talking about, cause this, the next gen is gonna be the green generation. Um, so we were talking, about, oh, also my graves. Um, so we were talking about naming it like perhaps Shrek. Um, we also talked about naming it um, like P, <laughs> I don't know. Swamp, we talked about Emerald too. Those were all options. Um, moss, oh, Moss. That's a really good name. I like that. I think Sage is too common of a name in real life to name the baby Sage. Moss is good. I think I might call the baby Moss. We can have three. We'll have Moss, Emerald, and Shrek. <laughs> I think I like Moss best. I think Moss might end up being the heir. I might be getting a little bit ahead of myself there, but what are you doing? Sleeping in the wrong bed. That's my mom's bed. Jeez. Okay, let's go to bed. Yeah, I think Moss is a good name. Okay, I'm I'm team Moss. Yeah, Moss can be non-binary. I think that works. Moss can have a mossy home. Oh my gosh, we can make them a really mossy home. Oh, I'm so set on Moss being the heir. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, the kid's not even born yet. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for this. Okay. Team Moss. I'm, this is, this is uh, our air already. Sorry. <laughs> That's really good. But a swamp for Shrek? Yeah, yeah, we can still live in a swamp. If we have a sibling called Shrek, then we can still live in a swamp. You know? They're gonna marry a witch, yeah. That's the plan. We're gonna marry, um, so Christine has already made the sim. Christine, are they on the gallery? Is Christine here right now? I don't remember. Um, let's check, but Christine already made the sim. Um, I don't know if they're uploaded yet. Oh, they're not uploaded yet. Did you post it in the Discord anywhere? We talk so much. We have like a, a mod games channel, like a private mod games channel, and it gets talked so much. Um, oh, they're only a toddler. That's the problem. Um, and your game keeps flagging it as CC. Um, if I search toddler in mod games, I don't know. There's too many. Everything in mod games right now, it's a combination of city skylines and and um, everyone talking about the like Sims pack, like posting the trailer links and stuff. <laughs> Moss is gonna have a moldy apartment. Oh my God. Anyway, we talked too much in there, so I can't show you, but basically Christine is making um, the person that Moss is going to get married to. Oh, we've got it, here we go. Here's Moss's family or Moss's future spouse's family. Look. This is gonna be our partner. Green spellcaster. And this is Moss's in-laws, but Moss isn't born yet. So we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. Um, but <laughs> anyway, this is who we're going to marry. So yeah, Moss has not been born yet. That's Alphaba. We're ready. <sighs> okay. Yeah, literally green, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, the sim we're gonna marry is gonna have lore. Moss, this is the, the furthest we've gotten with Moss's life. Obviously, Moss is about to be born. We've been planning this since this sim was a like a baby. We were like, oh my gosh, the green gen. And we were like prepping all the green gen stuff when this sim was young. <laughs> We're we're so prepared for our future children's lives. Like it's not even funny. <laughs> um. All right. Um. Sorry. I'm asking Dan. Um. Steve just told me that his friend Venom is going to play Fall Guys with us later. So now I have to get Dan to play Fall Guys with us later. And in, in fact, Dan doesn't really have much of a choice. Um. Sorry. <laughs> Christine made the dads in September for this. That's how long we've been ready for this. <laughs> we have been preparing for this moment for a very- Oh, there's a big poop in his inventory. Why does this always happen to me? I mean that, like, really and truly. Why does this always happen to me? Every time I try and marry a man in The Sims, they poop on the floor, they're lactose intolerant, they have poop in their inventory, this guy's got poop in his backpack, like, you can't escape it. I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> okay, you have work today, yes. I have to interrogate a suspect, I already did. Do you think I should go into work with her? To see if we can force the promotion faster? My guess is probably. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, chat, for um, for making this uh, abundantly clear. We can't have Twitch getting the wrong idea. So. <laughs> everyone, everyone makes a comment. You have to add, this is a joke. We love men to the end of the sentence <laughs> every time. Well, May, I sent her alone and had her work hard and she didn't get promoted when she was close last time. So that's why I'm kind of like, does it not work as well as I think it does when I send her alone? And I'm worried about doing it. Well, we do have, you know what we got is the reward trait to make her more likely to get promoted. So maybe she will be fine today. I don't know. Uh-oh. I've got morning sickness, that's no good. That's no good. You can like video games. You're gonna eat. You need to browse intelligence for work. We can do that too. Um, more choices. Oh my God. More choices. Web, browse the intelligence database. I'm so attached to Moss already. I love them. They barely exist, but I am a fan. <laughs> the baby's not born. <laughs> and this is already like everybody's favorite Sim. <laughs> classic, classic Sims behavior. We are so prepared. Um, I feel like my own real life child at this point. Yeah, seriously. Okay. Would you like to stop? You have to go to work in 20 minutes, so you need to be ready for when the time comes. All right. Dan is screaming on stream right now. Really? Am I joining or sending alone? I can't even hear him. New house has some better insulation in the walls. <laughs> Before, me and Dan's, um, our, our rooms are like kind of on separate parts of the upstairs in this house. But in the old house, our rooms shared a wall. And for a while, our desks were up against the wall of each other, which was not so good for noise. I'm getting some uh, mismatched things. Alone work on getting bro out. The thing is, she has two days off the next two days. So we can get, um, we can work on getting our brother to move out tomorrow when she has the day off. Do you think it's better to do it now? Maybe I will join. I don't know. Miss hearing his screams though. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know if I do. People, I would be streaming and the people would hear Dan and he would, it's like, he'd be like singing, but loudly. Or cause he plays Dead by Daylight, he'd get like caught by the killer. And then he would scream. 
Um, and then chat will be like, oh my god, is Dan okay? And I'd be like, yeah, he's just playing games. He's just loud. <laughs> Finn, thanks for the bits. It's good to see you. Uh, and Maddie, and Jewel, and Chris, and Pessimistic, and Eliza, and Isabella, and Hot Apple, and Tyrael. Thank you for the subs. Chloe, too. Talk to the chief. Our chief is gonna die soon. Six days left. Um... Is it under like, is it, is, is like under the small talk category? Is there literally a talk to the chief interaction? Or can I just talk to her in general? He was so loud while you were gone. Oh, I bet he was streaming and loud when I was uh, at my grandparents' house. Oh, I can take a police report from this civilian. I wish I had all his energy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, we can almost pay for our bills, so that's good. I'm gonna go to the crime scene. Um, I know when they're going to die because I have a mod called MC Command Center and it tells me how many days they have left when I click on them. So, that's how I know. Exciting stuff, right? <laughs> I had a crime scene, you can find clues. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Cute house. Mods, we need to get four more graves on the list, please. <laughs> I got four more. Oh, there's a police officer grilling. I love this job. I changed my mind, actually. I love this job. <laughs> If you could see your real life days left, would you look? No, absolutely not. I would not look at that. That freaks me out to no end. I like, I stay up at night thinking about stuff like that. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I would not look. Nobody has any business knowing that. <laughs> I think it would ruin my life to know that, to be honest. Anyway, we can stop talking about it. <laughs> this witness is a ghost. This witness is a ghost. I, I said it wrong. Take witness report. Paxton Harley. I need to get more witness reports. How many of these am I gonna have to talk to people for? Um, hello. Oh, you don't like me. Why? What did I do? Everybody here is dead. All the witnesses are dead. <laughs> huh. Okay. This house, Christine, this is the, um, this house is the vacation rental in Copperdale. So that's probably why you haven't seen it, because it's a vacation rental, so you might not use it. Um, I tend to, like, visit townies houses more often than vacation rentals. So. Your Sims pet bowl just caught on fire? How? I've, in all my days, I've never had that happen. That's kind of alarming. <laughs> I'm scared now. Okay, let's analyze some evidence, shall we? Well, I'm sorry that happened. <laughs> Fingers crossed it doesn't happen again. <laughs> Uh-oh. Lots of thanks for the 28 months. And, and, and Finn, thank you for the bits, too. Okay. Uh-oh, I'm gonna pee my pants. Yeah, I've never had Sims Vacation in Copperdale, either. Maybe we should do that soon, like have some Sims vacation in Copperdale, because it's a nice place. The vacation rental is right by the fair area, like with the Ferris wheel and stuff, and that's actually kind of cute, so. Hmm. Okay, come on. Hurry up, get it together. No, the horse hasn't died. The horse is only an adult, so. We have a ways to go. <laughs> um, let me cross-reference the police database. How about that? No, you stole my computer! Oh, so messed up. Wish you luck for Taylor Swift tickets. Oh my god, are you trying to get them? When is the sale for the new dates? Because she added the extra dates. When is the sale for them? I wasn't- I haven't really been paying attention because I'm obviously not trying to get tickets to go see her in Vancouver, so. <laughs> um, when is- is it today? Oh my. Good luck, my friends. 
I'll be thinking of you. Um, you have to cross-reference the police database again. A sale in 20 minutes! Oh my god! Oh, are a lot of you- are a lot of you gonna be trying? You'll have to tell us. We'll be expecting live updates on- on the queue situation and everything. Fascinating. Okay. Issue an APB, analyze evidence. I think I'll probably hold off on the APB until our next day of work. So. Got waitlisted. I know, it sucks. The thing is, it, it's like impossible to meet the demand. Like everybody, everybody wants to go and see. Oh, it's for the Australia ones. Oh, oh, it's the Australia dates that are happening right now. I forgot about those extra ones. Oh, even better. I was wondering about the time. I was like, why is it so late in the day? <laughs> that makes sense. Duh. Um, I forgot about those. Um, okay. Analyze evidence. Do one more. Um, it happened an hour or two ago in Vancouver. Oh, I see. That was today, but earlier. I'm sorry that happened to you if you got waitlisted. It's, it genuinely sucks so bad. But the thing is, like I said, there's... Ev everybody wants tickets. So, anyway. And then there's a lot of people that are, like, trying to get tickets that have already gone and stuff. And it's how you can't manage that, so... Anyway. All of Canada is trying to go to two cities, like... No promotion! <sighs> oh no. Yeah, the Europe tickets weren't as bad. Uh, at least, in a, like, from what I've heard from a lot of people, I think that the sale went a lot better for those tickets. Um, than it, especially than how it did here, so. Um, and then, of course, all the scalpers get tickets, and then they get put on sale on, like, resale websites for $10,000, and... You know. All right. Well, we didn't get promoted, so that sucks. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh, well. Um, cook a gourmet meal. Do you want to cook yourself some tofu? How about that? Okay. Um... Come on. Yeah, concerts are hard. They're very loud and they're very um, stressful and scary, but, you know. The tickets, Elsie, the, the price of them varies. The general sale of the tickets, um, obviously it's a massive stadium, so like the like ones farther away are not as expensive as like the floor seats. The problem is when you hear about Taylor Swift tickets being so expensive, it's because of the, like, the, the scalpers and the resale. Because you hear someone talking about like, Tickets being $2,000 for obstructed view, but that's not Taylor's fault. <laughs> that's the, the scalpers buying them and selling them for that, um, for those prices. So they're not actually that expensive. They're not cheap either, but they're not that expensive. Um, unfortunately, um, a lot of people buy tickets just to sell them and try and make money. So it's really frustrating. I wish that there was more, like, regulation and more stuff done to stop that, because it sucks. So. Okay. Um, I think today, goal is gonna be- who is that? Oh, that's the new ranch hand. Oh, I see. I think today I'm gonna go try and get Georgia and his partner together. So. All right, let's head out and we'll try and meet someone. Um, okay. Maybe. Um, oh no, someone asked if we can make moss vegetarian. Unfortunately, we cannot make moss vegetarian because the traits are all preset and not so very, um, and vegetarian is not one of them. If we get like a pop-up, we could do it. Um, but that's because the mint generation, Gen 1, is vegetarian. So I don't- I didn't want to reuse any of the traits, um, because I wanted to, like, the whole point of making the legacy is to try and vary what you're doing, so I didn't want to reuse a trait, so, um, I- I did that on purpose. Um, 
We can have them eat mostly vegetarian. I feel like I tend to have my sims do that a lot too. So. Moss is the next baby. Yeah, my sim is pregnant right now. With a baby that we've already named Moss. We're really prepared for this. <laughs> what are you doing? Come back. Okay, this is not gonna work very well. My attempts to uh, get me and this sim together. We were workplace rivals, and then I made them uh, fall in love. So they, well, they will fall in love. But they started out as workplace rivals. We're doing like an enemies to lovers kind of thing. So. Inside joke? Tell joke about penguins? I don't know. Um, okay. Yeah, the green gen is like all planned out. We haven't even started yet and we're ready. <laughs> He doesn't want to talk to her. He's angry, she's angry. Maybe I should just leave. Maybe now is not a good time. <laughs> Maybe we should stop this for now. This is a bad idea, okay. Um, oh my goodness. Moss is a plant sim? Yeah, but plant sims aren't like a permanent trait though. Isn't the plant sim thing temporary? It's like two weeks of plant sim and then it goes away. Which is very sad, but fine. Okay. Is the brother sick? I don't think so. I have to check. Sometimes I don't really pay attention and then I don't realize that they're sick. So, he might be. Oh no, he's just got acne. <laughs> yep. Confusing, because um, the some of the sicknesses from Get to Work look like that a little bit. Get rid of that. I guess you can just go to sleep. How's this guy? You're fine? Okay. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Okay. Oh. Yeah, the, the plant sim thing is weird because it's so temporary. It's like a fake occult or something. It's kind of strange, so. I've made a video on plant sims. I don't remember when, but I have. So if you're sat here like, what is a plant sim? Somewhere on, on Lil Simsy's YouTube channel, there is something. Yeah, it's also, it's hard to find. If you don't know about plant sims, you would not know that they exist and you would not use them. So you like, it's, it's a weird, weird feature. Very strange. All right. You remember accidentally clicking it and you thought your sim was gonna die? <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. Oh, there's the plant sim video. Thanks, Brew. Let me put my graves because my sim brought graves home from work with her. Okay, I'm really filling this up, huh? <laughs> Okay, you are uncomfortable from your morning sickness, but you need to sleep again. You also are so lucky because you don't have work tomorrow, which is really inconvenient for me. Yes, there is a scenario with plant sims. I think that's what the video is on, if I remember correctly. Um, anyway, um, this video is called, oh, it's a long time ago. It's tough to be a plant sim. I don't remember calling it that. <laughs> I do not remember that at all. It might have been a temporary scenario. I'm not sure. It's tough to be a plant sim is a good title though. <gasps> no! I can't afford to replace my sharks! No, I don't. I can't have my bills. I, my bills are going to be $9,000. Oh god, this is really bad. This is really, really bad. <sighs> okay. Yeah, my sharks are dead. That's no good. I'll, I'll be able to replace them eventually. I, I've got the bills pretty much covered. And once I get my book royalties tomorrow and stuff, we should be alright. Um... I'm feeling a little bit stressed about this, but I think we should be fine. Oh, this is broken too. You have to repair it. You can't replace it. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. You can cheat the sharks back? Do you think? Oh! It's 7,000 because I bought the frugal trait! Oh, thank you, Kayla. That was so smart of you. Okay, that's not so bad. I forgot I bought the frugal trait, so that helps. Maybe I can sell these books. Most of the stuff that I have here in my inventory can't be removed. It's all very important. Um, as you can see. Uh, I've already gone through and cleared out as much as I can. You'll have to try take my word for it, but... I do have Barbie. She should be able to come over here and harvest all of this stuff. What are all these plants? Blueberry. Pineapple plant. Bell pepper bush. I think I just had to plant stuff for like an aspiration or something. We can get some more plants here too. Why are there chickens in there? Oh, I've had those chickens. Um, I've had those chickens since Cottage Living came out. The ghost just broke my thing again. Oh, I can't get Maddie's my sim too. Isn't Eric Potts from like Gen? Oh no, that's Graves' husband. So that was Gen six. Gen five. What's the gray gen? Oh, Gray is four. That's the fourth gen's husband. Okay, I can't complain about you. You had a rough life. <laughs> I wrote the challenge. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Can you please change? Oh my god. Okay, how much do sharks cost? <sighs> Next goal is to get enough money to get my sharks back. Someone was called Grave. Yeah, he was the he was the gray generation heir. So it worked out pretty well given, you know, all of that. I really liked him. He was one of my faves. Okay, have a good day at work. I'm gonna have you work hard today, my friend, because you need to get us a bunch of money. <laughs> Can you help clean this maybe? Rough day. Why are some stones darker than others? Oh, uh, these are the vampire graves. That's why they look like that. So. Yeah, yeah, it was so funny because um, when I played the gray generation, yeah, ask her out. When I played the gray generation, the whole time people would come in and think that my game was in gray scale because I had an all gray house and an all gray sim. His skin was gray, his hair was gray, his clothes were all gray. Um, they'd be like, oh, how's your game in grayscale? <laughs> or they'd be like, oh, he's an elder and he was like a teen. It was really funny. I enjoyed it. Oh, and I had an alien sim. They would, they would think that he was freezing as well. He was gray because his mom was an alien. They would think that he was freezing to death also. And I'd be like, no, he's not. He's just gray. Mom was an alien. That's all. <laughs> but it made me laugh. Whenever people like assume things and it's the the actual truth is more chaotic it always amuses me like when people i don't know things like this it's a fun it's a fun thing to get to surprise people with basically all right you're in a better mood so i'm gonna try and call up summer again and see if this goes better this time i don't know if it will but we'll see who's calling you you want to join barbie's friends no No! Why would I accept that job offer? Summer's gonna be right over. Here she is, okay. No, I think we'll have like three green gen kids, Floppy, but I'm quite attached to the new baby Moss already, so I think Moss might end up being the heir. They're not born yet, um, so maybe I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, but that's fine. Okay, would you like to maybe go try and write another book? This book's gonna be called Barbie in the Swamp. <laughs> Cause Shrek is the next baby's name after this. Barbie Shrek, I don't know. Barbie meets Shrek, I'm not sure yet, we'll see. Would you say that, yeah, Georgia and Princess are close, okay. 
Barbie meets Shrek. No, Barbie versus Shrek. Oh, Lyra, you and I have the exact same idea at the exact same time. That's pretty funny. Maybe Barbie Life in the Swamp can be next after that. I like to her I like to write all of her books as like I, I like to imagine that Barbie the doll was based off of her. And I write all of the books. She's like the author that invented Barbie. Um Do you wanna try oh, she's unpleasant conversation? Why? I don't know if we're ever gonna make her like me. No, you can't give my number out to anyone. Stop. Okay, you can go tell jokes, okay? Uh, Barbie is not an elder. Barbie is an adult who will be an elder soon. But I might wait a second longer to age her up. Because I want her to be around for the grandkids. Why does she hate me so much? We had a way better time the other day. Do you want to take a photo together? It doesn't help, but we can perhaps make it less unpleasant, the conversation? Maybe? Okay. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier, um, about the, the little teaser trailer they posted today and how it showed off how the apartments that you can build, you can have six units. I was, so, when the trailer first dropped, the original trailer, we were kind of discussing, like, how many units do you think you'll be able to, to build? And I was thinking three or five, like, somewhere in between there. I was like, five would be my goal. If, if we could get five units to build on one lot, that was, like, ideal to me. It's six! They showed that off in the trailer today. They showed, like, they're like, here's two units, here's three, here's four, here's five, here's six! And they showed six units in the trailer today. Which is pretty cool. Um, I was pretty excited about that. Um, this is uh, another fantasy book about yes. Barbie in the swamp. They put, it's like a 20 second long tiny teaser lock and it's like on all their social media, if you're looking for it. Twitter, Instagram. Um, so. Yeah, and apparently they can all have eight sims is what they were saying, right? Which is absolutely wild to me. I'm so excited about this pack. I, I really have such high expectations for this pack because I honestly think that if it ends up being good, this might become my favorite pack. Like, I just, I just know that this is gonna speak to me. I'm so excited for it. Um, romance, compliment appearance perhaps? No, you don't have to control. You don't have to control the other households. No, you you just build and play as you desire. Um, I'm really excited about it. Yeah, and they also in the teaser from today they showed um, they showed it being built in a lot of different worlds, which I think was a really effective tool for marketing because a lot of people have been talking like, does it even work in other worlds? Like, can you even do it? And the answer is always yes to that. They would never like make a build feature limited to one to one world like that if you could build it from scratch. Um, but they showed off in the teaser today them building it in like Oasis Springs and in San Sequoia and um, they showed like a dorm thing in university being built a new pack. And I just think that's kind of cool to, to show off how it connects to other stuff that you might already have. Um, so I liked that. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, hold hands. Early midlife crisis, oh. I don't know what to expect from the base game update. I, I'm wondering if, um, so when I think about what would be useful to me out of this, I don't know if they will, but I wonder if they could increase like the, the height limit of builds to make it so that you could have more floors to build on or something. Um, I don't know if they will, but that's kind of like maybe because then you could have like six floors or something of each floor as an apartment. I don't know. I wonder if that'll be something to do with the update. I'm just trying to think of stuff that like, because they usually do a pretty uh, decently sized base game update around the the packs that come out. And it's usually somewhat related. Um, 
somehow like it's a build feature that kind of ties in nicely like in seasons we got the glass roofs and then we got platforms in uh snowy escape but the platforms in this the glass roofs are base game um and then with growing together we got like babies <laughs> and the pack added more baby stuff um so i'm curious to see what it might end up being um considering they haven't so i would love to see elevators that's like a, a massive request from me as well but i feel like because they haven't shown any of that don't you think if there were elevators they would put it in the trailer like in those apartments they were building in the trailer right like if there was a massive change of a feature like that i i would have put it in the trailer if i was adding that but i don't know um Maybe it's a sim limit increase because right now the n max number of sims you can have on one lot is like 24 or 25, I forget. And maybe this is a sim limit increase, I don't know. Well, so Kayla, even if it's the base game update, I still think I still think that they would show it in the trailer. Especially because like um you think about things, I don't know if ladders were in the trailer for Eco Lifestyle, but um in Eco Lifestyle, we got ladders in the base game and then also some extra ones in the pack when it came out. And, like, they were using ladders in promotional material um, to, like, show off the new ones. And if they were if they were making... And, like, ceiling paint, you could see in the trailer from the last pack. Um, ceiling paint is base game, but they still put it in there, so... Um, in the trailer. I, I, if I had made elevators after them being asked for for this long, I would put it in the trailer. <laughs> so... Um, I don't know. I just don't, I don't think it'll be elevators, but, but I could very easily be, be wrong. I would like to be wrong. I just feel like we would have seen something from it. So, um, but I don't know. I'm really curious what it'll end up being though. She doesn't even like me. Do you want to hold hands? Embrace maybe? Well, Scotty, the elevators we have, you ask what's wrong with them, um, everything. <laughs> we don't really have elevators. Um, they have, like, it's basically, it's decorative, and it's like a spawn point for, for, uh, when you play in the penthouses in San Maishuno. It works as, like, where the sims spawn onto the penthouse lies, where you put the elevator. But you can't have more than one elevator on one lot, um, you can only have the one because it, it's like made for penthouses and they're not to get between floors they're to get to the penthouse so you can use them as like a decoration in other lots but you can't have extra so you can't have like an elevator shaft up a building and your sims can't use them they don't work they just are there um and a lot of people want to have like functional elevators um there's a lot of reasons for that i mean like primarily obviously um it's like an accessibility thing. People really want to see more stuff like that in the game. Um, and there just really isn't any. So it'd be cool to have that. But also like um, the realism of it too. When, you, when you're building like a four or five story building, it might be nice to have a walk up. Um, or to have it not be a walk up, I mean, is to have an elevator instead. But we just don't have them. So it could be a woohoo spot, you know, and it's just not right now. The, the elevators don't do anything right now. They just exist. So... Um, Okay. Do you want to keep talking to her so we can try and get her to love us? It's going quite slow. It is going very, very, very slow. Um, yeah, I mean, in real life, a lot of buildings don't have elevators, but that doesn't mean that you don't want them. In real life, some people's houses have elevators. Obviously not everybody's, but they build lots of fancy houses with elevators. Um, and obviously, um, a lot of people can't use stairs in real life, um, beyond, like, just elevators being cool. A lot of people can't use stairs, so it's just kind of, it would be nice to have, um, a feature like that for accessibility, so. Um, okay. Um, physical intimacy, suave kiss, how about that? Yeah, and like community lots would have them, you know, it just would be kind of cool to have. So. Yeah, I would really, really love to have more disability representation in The Sims. Um, they, I know that a lot of it would be like extremely difficult to implement at this point, like 
animation wise, but it doesn't mean they shouldn't. And I would love to see them add more. Things like when they added the hearing aids, it's such a small thing, right? Like it's it's a small cast accessory. It doesn't really have any gameplay effect. Like it's just a cast accessory. It's basically an earring as far as The Sims is concerned. But it makes such a big difference for people. Like a, a tiny thing to you goes so far to a person who has a hearing aid in real life. Like that that is so meaningful to have things like that in the game. Um, it's, it's like genuinely such a big deal to get stuff like that. Um, so it'd be really cool to have more of it added into The Sims. So people want to see like things like wheelchairs so badly. Um, and I don't know if they will, but I would like to see stuff like that. So um, yeah, The Sims 3 had canes. We don't have that in The Sims 4. Um, even that kind of thing would be super cool. So anyway. Do you want to use the bathroom so you don't pee your pants? Sorry. <laughs> Sid, Kaya, and Momo, thank you for the subs. When did they add the hearing aid? Um, ah, maybe like six months ago or so. Honestly, the last year is like a blur. This year, I think, is when the hearing aids came out. Um, yeah, see, this person says as a type 1 diabetic, seeing the blood glucose sensors literally made you cry. See, this is the thing. It might seem like a really small thing to you, and it is just a small cast feature, but for, for people like that, it really it makes a big, big, big difference. Um, yeah, Justice, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of discussion about like how wheelchairs would work and like what um, there's like um, people talk a lot about representation for like even like mental illness and other like uh things like that and there's such a line that you have to walk with like what is okay and what is almost offensive to represent like because in the sims it it will be sort of goofy like no matter how you paint it right so there's like such a line to walk with that sort of thing and i think a lot of people have a lot of different opinions about it um and about what's best um it's a pretty like common discussion online in the sims community about stuff like this so the hearing aids were January 31st. Oh my goodness, more than six months ago. That was a while ago. Um, so, anyway, there's like levels to it. And with the wheelchairs, like, I don't know if they'd be able to like accurately depict it that well. Doesn't mean that they necessarily shouldn't, but it's like, how do you, how do you do that? And like the, to make all the new, like they have to make every single animation again, you know? Um, so, anyway. There's a lot of discussion about it and about what's right, so. Um, interesting to talk about though. Yeah, that's, I think that that's kind of a worry people have too, Natty, unfortunately. I don't know. I don't, there's not really a, a clear cut answer to it. Um, and the thing is like, it's not like it's it's uh, an easy task to go in and do. There's a lot of things that The Sims 4 at this point really just can't even handle either that, um, like, it's almost like we need to to build a game from scratch again. Like, this Project Renee stuff might be a, a good opportunity um, to, to improve a lot of things. Um, yeah, Amy, that's kind of, like, how I feel a little bit about it, too. Um, but I understand a lot of people have different opinions, so. Um, I, I think that mental illness is a little bit too far for The Sims. I don't know if they could represent that in a way that is, like, not horribly offensive um and there's even like even beyond that like to like compare it to a more simple thing um people talk about wanting to see things like periods and like more puberty stuff added into the game and that's the kind of thing that like i do not want that <laughs> i just I, I just don't i i would immediately try and get a mod to turn it off if my sim started having periods like that's just not something that excites me at all or intrigues me at all i don't want my sims to have to deal with that like, but a lot of people want to see that there's like mods for it there is like period mods that exist um there's just such different camps of people that prefer the realism of that versus people that like don't want it at all um so anyway um but there's mods if you want it <laughs> it's just not the kind of thing that i really have any interest in um so okay um Acne was enough, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, I don't know. It's interesting, like, the mod is cool to, to see, but I don't know if it's the kind of thing that I would ever want to have in my game full-time. Um, I don't know. It's funny how that kind of stuff works out, because you'll all sit here and talk about, like, 
that part of life is is too realistic. We, I, I don't want my Sims to have periods. My period's so bad, I don't want my Sims to have to deal with it. And then I'll be like, oh, but guys, do you like the 300 some Sims that I've killed? <laughs> and like the, the way that I see, the way that I deem what is and what isn't too much for the Sims is really like, <laughs> I don't know. That's true, they didn't even get the acne right because it kind of glitches. Um, and like, it's not supposed to be permanent, but it is. Uh, and I don't really care. Like both of these Sims have permanent acne and that's fine. A lot of people do in real life too, but that's not how it's supposed to work technically in the Sims, but it does. Um, so anyway, let me give Pulp a bath quickly. Um, you can like stories, that's fine. <laughs> Dead is okay, but periods are not. Yeah, apparently. I don't know. Um, it would be kind of interesting if they made it, like, with the period thing, if they made it sort of like how in the cast settings you can pick, like, does the sim pee standing up? Does the sim have a period? I guess that might be a fun way to do it, but, um, never mind. I don't want it. <laughs> um, okay. There you go. Yeah, prosthetics would be a nice feature too. I feel like prosthetics are a, a lot more attainable for the Sims than the wheelchair is. Um, because like, they don't have to alter as much of the animation, you know? Like it can still be the same animation, it just would look different. Um, so I think the prosthetics are a lot easier for them to implement, I would hope. But I don't know if they will. And it's also not easy to implement. I just think it would be easier, so. Um, yeah, totally. That's the thing. It's just hard hard for them to do a lot of these things, specifically about like the more like health related stuff without it being almost like they're making a mockery of it. So, um, yeah, the prosthetics are more of like a, it almost be like more of a, like a cast asset, right? You would think like a cosmetic thing. Um, so, okay. When you think about, that's a good comparison. When you think about like Patchy and Bone Hilda, Patchy and Bone Hilda are, they're technically costumes. They're like reskins of like a regular Sim, um, but like they're differently shaped in the same way that like all the other, like the gnome costume is and the bear costume is. Um, but Patchy and, and Bone Hilda are a little bit more extreme because she's like bones. Um, but I feel like if they can do stuff like that and it works totally fine, you'd think that prosthetics would be doable. And like the servos and stuff, um, they're like basically a sim, just like reskinned. So it should be like a cast asset. I don't know. Um, it's interesting to, to think about. So, oh, and that scientist career outfit has a prosthetic arm too, doesn't it? I forgot about that part. Um, I don't know. I feel like they've made a lot of progress this year in, in things like this, which is kind of cool, but um, lots more to go. Lots, lots, lots more to go, so. Yeah, it's just on the outfit. It's just like one outfit has it, but I don't know. Can you, did you clean that up? Oh, you washed it there, oh, okay. And then you can go to sleep. Time for bed. Time for bed. They added a lot more skin details this year too, which is pretty cool. Um, like more skin details and scars and stuff, like the top surgery scar, and we have like stretch marks and all kinds of things like that, um, which I think is really cool of them to do. Now that they have all those categories, they can do so many more as well, which is pretty pretty cool. Um, gone into labor? Oh, geez, already? Oh, <laughs> okay, it's Moss's time, it's Moss's time. <laughs> Okay, time to go to the hospital. All right, baby time, here we go. Uh, also, Shannon, thank you for the 47 months. Go, go, go. Oh my God, stop wearing that. Oh, you can't, you actually, no, you actually cannot. You actually, no, 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 no. You cannot wear that. You cannot. I'm sick and tired of her wearing her cop outfit 24 <sighs> seven. Oh, 
Oh my god. I love how the other sims like run around all panicked when you go into labor. It's so amusing to me. Um. All right. Here we go. She's extremely passionate about her job, apparently. Clearly. All right. Moss. Yes! I'm so excited! Okay. It's not twins. Thankfully. I want to redo Moss's bedroom as well. But maybe I should- maybe I should hold off on that. Maybe I'll put Moss in my bedroom. Because we could probably keep Moss in here. Until... They age up, and then we can put Moss as an infant up upstairs. I think Moss is going to use they, them pronouns, by the way. Um, let's make a silly face and stuff. The Peach Sim's name is Princess. <laughs> Princess Peach is her name. Isn't Moss a cute name? I know. I really like it. I think it's really good. It's one of my favorite names. Yeah, and we can't set the pronouns in cast yet, because you can't edit um, newborns in cast. So we'll fix the pronouns once they become an infant, but we have to wait. I love you, Moss. I'm gonna change Moss's outfit. Pandemonium, green bean, feeling hoppy. <gasps> is that a, is that like a little frog? Come on. Hurry up. You have a classmate named Moss, really? It's a good name. Moss is the green generation. Look, 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 look! Oh my god! We need to get screenshots. Should I take photos of Moss, like with my camera? Who has the camera? Here. I know you have to pee, sorry, this is more important. <laughs> Come on. Pictures, pictures, picture! What are you doing? I don't want picture- Oh. It's a mirror selfie. <laughs> oh my goodness, let's try again. Did you pee yet? No, you didn't. Use the bathroom. Use the bathroom. Use the bathroom. Maybe your husband can take the picture. Boyfriend, sorry. Put the baby down, take a photo. Oh. Eh! It's moving! It's moving! I've never been more scared in my life. The game is supposed to pause when you take pictures. Why are you standing so close? Move over. Move. You know what? Maybe you should just go to bed. Maybe that's the way. Okay, no one has work tomorrow at least, so that's a benefit. Um, that should make things a little bit easier for us. Oh, Elliot is cleaning up baby bottle. Um, Golden Bell, I forget exactly where it is, but the asterisk blocking words in chat, that is on your end. If you look at, um, oh, annoyingly I'm in my own stream, so I can't see it. But in the gear icon, you can change the, the chat, like, auto-modding stuff. Um, so it'll stop showing up asterisks in your chat when it's thinking a word is a bad word. It's under the chat filters category. And I think you have to, you can like adjust it a lot to be pretty custom. I'm pretty sure at least. Oh, you're awake. Okay. Um, oh my, here we go. But yeah, if you're seeing asterisks in chat, that's not me. That's technically your settings um, that are that are causing that. Um, my the the things that I block, we delete, <laughs> so you wouldn't see it at all. Um, the asterisks are your settings, technically. All right, 
We're fixing this, I guess. Mm -hmm. There's a new skin in Fall Guys. It's a can of beans. Oh, well, good. I'm playing Fall Guys later. <laughs> I'm going to be live again, by the way, at nine. That's in like two and a half hours ish. I'm going to stream again at nine. We're going to do uh, what I like to call a sad stream. Sad SAD, Simsy After Dark. Um, <laughs> And we're gonna play some Fall Guys with uh, a couple of my friends, so that is the plan. The baby's name is Moss. Oh, the baby smells. Okay, you're going to work. That's fine. Um, you can come take care of it. Talk, rock, make a silly face. Change dirty diaper. I don't know. Should I make... Moss is very hungry. Uh-oh. Should I age the baby up now into an infant or should we wait until later? Oh my, what now? What are you doing? Okay. Oh, pulp is sick and pulp pooped gold. Do you see that? Can you fix that? Give that treat, wellness treat. We'll try that. Of course, pulp pooped gold. If anybody would, it would be her. That's good money, thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, you'll be late to, to Fall Guys tonight because of the Big Brother finale. I forgot that was today. How long is the Big Brother finale? I, I don't watch Big Brother, so I'm not well versed in it. Are you kidding? Again? At, I'm serious, at this rate, I might as well just let him die. What? Did you put on your- Okay, there goes all the money that I made. Okay, this is fine. She's wearing the outfit again, like. Come here, I want you to work on skill building. We're trying to max the comedy skill, please. So do we really have to finish this career? <laughs> I, I think, I think we do. I think we do have to finish this career. I don't know if I've ever finished the career. So I feel like I need to. It's gonna take a long time. We're on level three. She hit herself in the head with that just then. Big Brother is eight to 10 tonight. Oh, very exciting. You all have fun with Big Brother. Do the winners of Big Brother win like a million dollars? How do they decide who wins? 750K. Mm, they should make a million dollars. Survivor's a million dollars. Survivor's probably a worse experience. <laughs> but they should make it a million dollars. Round up, you know. <laughs> What's 250,000 more? A jury votes between the two finalists for the winner. Oh, so it's like Survivor. Interesting. Do they have a fire making challenge in Big Brother 2? <laughs> Interesting. No, I would never go on a show like that. I'm sorry, but I cannot think of a single thing I'd rather do less. Specifically Survivor, there is absolutely nothing, no amount of money in the world that you could pay me to go on Survivor. No way, no way. I, I think I might die out there. I mean it. <laughs> There's nothing about that, that that entices me at all. And Big Brother 2 with the 24-7 the cameras and stuff? No way. No way. It's too much. Okay, you have work in three hours. You're talking to that. <laughs> You'd be asking your teammates to vote you out, right? Ugh. Horrible. Um... Oh, hi, Dan. What are you doing here? Dan, would you go on Survivor? We're just talking about it. Big Brother is for the extroverts only. There's no way. 
I could not do that. Oh, I never, I never published the books that we wrote. No, I would die. That's what I said. I said if I tried to go on it, I would die. <laughs> Barbie is a one-star celebrity. Recolors of the uniform do exist. Oh, I didn't even think about that. <gasps> oh my god. Sorry, I yawned. We have to download them right now. Noodle CC, the legend, has made a bunch of uh, recolors of the detective clothes, but in pastels. Okay, I'm getting it. Oh my god, one of the only pieces of CC that I have is now a, a police uniform. This goes against most things I stand for. <laughs> Just to be clear. <laughs> but we can make it peach. Documents, electronic art, Sims 4, mods. Okay. Downloads. All right, let me grab this and I'll reopen the game. And we'll fix it. Okay. I'm barely surviving tonsillitis, let alone survivor. <laughs> yeah. Well, here we go. Yeah, I'm using some of their hair recolors for my sim as well, so. Okay. We'll load in. The common cold wipes me out for two weeks. I can't survive out there. <laughs> I, okay. You want to talk about that? In my defense, I've been having a very bad week, okay? This, my body not thriving right now. Two days ago, I almost went to the ER because I thought that my appendix burst. Um, period cramps. But, but, I've never felt that degree of pain in my life. In my life. Even when I had a cyst rupture, like an ovarian cyst. Period cramps. But it was, it was really bad. Like, I don't need to spare you, I don't need to give you all the details. But I was extremely physically ill from the amount of pain that I was in. Um, and anyway, I'm fine now, so it's okay. Um, <laughs> I was really scared. Okay, let's load back in and we'll fix my Sims outfits. When was this? Oh, Tuesday? <laughs> but only in the morning. I was fine later in the day. So, anyway. Um, shocked that you streamed that day? Yeah, but I hadn't streamed in days because I went to my grandparents' house. I don't know. I feel okay today. So. I don't have endometriosis, friends. I Trust me, I don't need any Twitch doctors. I've been to the doctor many times. Many times. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, that was a bad day, though. Without, uh discussing too much of my personal health and life. Um, the problem is that I started a new birth control pill um, and it's not good. So we need to think of something else because I started birth control to make me not have periods. And now this is happening and it's worse. <laughs> so um, you don't need to know any more details than that. But um, yeah, there's it's, it's a couple months of um, not good times. So <laughs> anyway. Um, Okay. Uh, what do you think? Was I gonna? What was I gonna do? Oh, the outfit. That's right. Um, that's right. I think MC Command Center. How do you change the MC dresser? How do I change my work outfit? How do you edit it? Do you remember? Anyway, I, I open myself up to this because I talked about it, but I'm not accepting medical advice from strangers online. I'm sorry, you don't even know me and what I've been, what I've talked to my doctor about. So love you the most, but shh, okay? No more. <laughs> I'll tell you what I want, okay? Oh, it's a cheat. There we go. I'll tell you what I want to share and I've said enough now, so. Um, all right, here we go. Here we go. Um... I, I have, I'm a 24 year old adult who's been dealing with this for like 10 years now. So <laughs> I've been to the doctor and I've talked enough. That's the wrong sim. I've tried a lot of things, so it's okay. 
um, you mean well, but it's scary when there's like 50 people saying all these different things in your chat, so. Um, okay, I have to go onto the right sim this time, and then we will fix it, so. All right. Anyway, I wish you all the best in finding what works for you, like Bruce said. It sucks, so. All right. Yeah, this cheat, I don't really mess with my Sims career outfits that often. Doesn't it change it every single time you get promoted? <laughs> Cause for a while there, we were trying to give Barbie um, career outfits and then I gave up cause I was so irritated by it. So, I don't know. All right, huh? hello. I want my custom content outfit. Content, custom content. Oh my goodness. Yes, <laughs> this is so good. Okay, perfect. This makes it a lot better actually. All of a sudden I like it. Uh oh, is there no matching pants? Oh, uh, I'll get my own pants. Okay. Um, do we have a matching hat? Wait. Content, custom content. Yes! Okay. <laughs> Leo said copaganda, but make it slay. <laughs> this goes against everything I, I stand for. <laughs> But she looks cute though, right? <laughs> oh. I think the white pants look good, right? Heels? No, we should wear shoes. Real shoes. Maybe we should wear, guys, I don't know what kind of shoes police wear. <laughs> Never thought about it. I don't really care. You look good. I like it. That's enough. Boots? Oh. Heels. I kind of like it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they shot 36 months. Oh. <laughs> Protect and serve. Stop. Oh my god. <sighs> well, I'm glad she looks better now. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm glad that I'm glad that we're all here together, Chad. This is a great time. This is a great time. <laughs> she can keep wearing it if she wants now that it matches. Oh, look, she's wearing it right now. Don't go to snare. No, what? <laughs> they can't be starving. I didn't even replace them yet. Liar. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay, I am, speaking of which though, I'm gonna get my sharks back because I have more money now. Yay! Okay, everything is good again. Finally. Oh, I should check on the rodent too. Oh, speaking of which, looks like you are. I didn't realize that the ranch hands cleaned my rodent cage because that's really helpful actually. <laughs> I don't know, I like it. Who's that man in your household? I love men, but get rid of him. <laughs> Bru, I, I'm actually, my Sim is dating a man. And that's my Sim's brother, but he's gonna be gone soon, so. Be careful what you say, Bru. Be careful what you say, all right? Um, okay. She's threatening me. <laughs> no, 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 no. How, are, how is your skill? What? We're level 7 only still? Yeesh. If we can try and get this to 8, that would be good. Okay. 
It's quite loud. So. You done yet? Is it even going up? Look how slow it goes up! And you're also exhausted. I guess you had a baby last night. The detective CC I just got is from a person called Noodles CC. They have a lot of really good, um, like, pastel and, like, not so berry vibes sort of recolors on their Tumblr, um, which is pretty helpful. The hair that my sim has is from Noodle CC too. Does the convivial trait help comedy? Oh, I don't have any law traits. Good call. Charisma, comedy, and mischief. And then we can get Chef's Kitchen for our culinary skills, so we have to do that too. Okay. That should help us. All right. Do you think I should age the baby up into an infant now? Oh no, I have no money. Oops, we have to wait. I bought sharks instead of doing a baby's room. <laughs> oh, sorry everybody, we cannot do that yet because I have sharks. So. Okay, what is wrong with you? You need to shower. You need to maybe get some leftovers. You need to use the toilet. Please don't let it catch fire. And then you can get some leftovers. Oh, and the baby's name is Moss. Moss is part of the green generation of Not So Berry. Hence the uh, rooms we've got planned for the future. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, it didn't catch fire, so that's good. You're good too. Your fun is quite low. Maybe you could channel surf. You need logic skill. Oh no, play chess instead of channel surfing. What if I put grass as Moss's flooring in their room? <gasps> oh, you're a genius. Also, I had Barbie knit some clothes. This is for a newborn. I probably should wear that, huh? Dress newborn in the green onesie. Because we made this for Moss. <gasps> Look how cute that is! Oh my goodness. Okay, um, can you adopt as care dependent so you start helping the baby too? Thank you. Oh, I never sold all of that stuff. I'll get us some more money. Hi, Miv. How are you? Good, I hope. Um... It's only 5.30. Why did I think it was so late in the day? <laughs> I was like under the impression that it was like bedtime for my sims. It's not. It's not. Miv, my, my new child is named Moss. What do you think about that? Caesar salad. Moss is gonna use they them pronouns regular. Uh, we can't set it yet because you can't set it for newborns. They have to be infants because you can't click on them and cast. <laughs> so we can't set it yet. They they will be once it ages up. So should name their sibling Algae. Oh. I mean, I'm sat here talking about naming the kid Shrek, so I I can't speak. Algae Al for short. That is honestly pretty good. So. Seaweed. Huh. You know what? Algae. Fungus. Gus for short. I need to make a list. Hold on. Fungus. Algae. Shrek. Emerald. What else did we say? Fern, eh, fern's not as good as fungus, but it's okay. Fern is like a real name, you know? I think fungus is, I'm not gonna call it pond scum, Christine. What is wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Sprout is cute too. Green is the best generation. There's too many good names for green gen. 
We might have to have like 10 kids. <laughs> we might have to have more kids, I don't know. Chlorophyll, Phil for short. Miv! You can't just name the kids stuff like that. Sprout is a good name. Fern is a good name. Those are like real names. Fungus is, is, is good in the sense that you wouldn't expect it to be good. Huh. Okay. Let's get rid of that. We can't call it booger. We've talked about this chat. We have been over this. Uh, we can't call it snot either. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Maybe we could get a cat named Booger or Snot or something. You see, a lot of people are recommending names that are like too good almost as well. It's it's tough out here. Imagine your sibling is saying something pretty like Emerald, but your name is Fungus. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, slime, goo, diet Mountain Dew, <laughs> Barbie, s s slime. I, I don't know. Zom Barbie! Oh, that's better! Oh, uh, we'll write that next. Okay. Sorry, I'm getting sent live update screenshots from- It's almost Lincoln's birthday. Oh, geez. I'm getting sent live update screenshots from, from Laura, who is watching a live stream of Taylor Swift concert, um, and she has just come out. It started. Oh my god, not you too! So I distracted myself because I was looking at all that. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> okay, do you want to take a shower? Oh, she has? Okay, bye, Kayla. Have a nice night. <laughs> I get it. Find yourself a TikTok live stream. Get watching. Exciting stuff. Okay. Uh, what's wrong with the baby? Smelly. Smelly. Change dirty diaper. Okay, then everyone can go to bed. It's like 11 p.m., so that's an appropriate bedtime. Um, okay. You too. Everybody to bed, okay? Come on. Duolingo! <laughs> uh, if Duolingo wants me to name my baby after them, they have to pay up. I mean that. And it won't come cheap. <laughs> if it's born on Winterfest, Grinch? We can't name our baby Grinch, isn't that mean? Duolingo and Spotify, Spotify come on besties, Geico, you're invited to! When did I, hold on. When did I do that State Farm thing? That was like over a year ago, right? Cause that was at my old house. So we should be good. Exclusivity clause is up. So we should be all right. <laughs> Geico, anybody out there? No, I'm kidding. I like State Farm better. I'm not interested in calling my sim Geico, sorry. If State Farm is interested, I will do another red gen. I'm kidding. I'm not really interested in naming my kids after insurance companies to be clear. Lizard, Liz for short. I swear to you, that's my Sims mom's name. Look. She died. But that was her mom's name. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we'll just sleep through the night and then I'm gonna send her to work, I think on her own tomorrow cause she better get promoted. All right, <laughs> giant snail. 
That's a good name for a baby. Also, Cheyenne and Allie and Tiger and Sarah, thank you for the subs. It's Moss's birthday. Oh, no. I can't really afford stuff for Moss yet. That's okay. Brother still didn't get moved out. Yeah, we don't need to move him out yet. I'm kind of holding off a little bit because I might want extra help tomorrow while people are at work and stuff. All right. Take care of the baby. It's okay. Take care of the baby. Take care of the baby. Okay. Brock. Oh, we call it broccoli. Mike Wazowski. That's a good one too. Hmm. Asparagus. Guac and Brock as twins would be kind of cute, wouldn't it? You might be onto something there. I don't know. We'll see. We have so many ideas. <laughs> we have so many ideas. Okay. At this rate, we're going to have to have a kid again, like, fast. Hmm. Brussels sprout rust for short. Ooh, we combine the sprout thing in there. We get both. There you go. Um, there you go. Pulp, what do you need? Can I cheat Pulp's needs? I don't want Pulp to run away again. I think Pulp is scared of the storm, so. All right. Just means you have to have 30 kids. Oh, okay. That'll be fine. Evil kitten, thanks for the 37 months. Oh, okay. It is kind of a rough storm, so I get it. I think that sim was electrocuted. Am I, is that what I'm seeing? Oh, no, maybe not. I thought I saw, like, lightning strikes in there, but I don't think I did. Okay. Um... Is anybody well-rested enough to come fix these? We can't replace them because I need money to buy uh, furniture for my child's room. So. Come on. Julian is simming tonight. <gasps> is Julian live now? He is? Okay. That's interesting. Well, I'm getting off. Yeah, speaking of Kermit, right? Well, I'm getting off stream about 15 minutes. So that's just interesting is all. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh. Well, are you gonna change the baby's diaper or not? Please stop crying. It stresses me out. Oh, okay. Grandma's doing it. Okay. There is a moss rug from Snowy Escape. Oh my god. You're right. Which room should the baby have? Um, I think I like this one better. I don't really want to renovate the whole room yet, but look at this. The baby's name is Moss. This rug? Moss. Yeah. Um, these dot move objects on. Okay. Um. We were, are we going to give him a grass floor? Because I, I did give them a grass floor. I'm not 100% sure. It would be kind of cute. What, does that rug from Jesse's kit, does it look like... Could it, does it have a green swatch? Oh. It's very mint gen. And not so much green gen. Okay. That's just icky. I think I like this floor though. It's chaotic in all the right ways. It's a baby's room. We have to keep that in mind as we're decorating this. That'll do. Uh, 
Yeah, everyone, we may have to do this more seriously the next time I stream. Because I'll be completely and totally honest with you. I, I'm feeling too chaotic right now. Like, if I try and do this right now, I'm just warning you. It is going to be really bad. Like, like I'm, I'm going to just do something horrendous. <gasps> oh, that's better green. Okay, sorry everybody. I can't be trusted. I'm in a bit of a mood. <laughs> I'm going to make something really scary <laughs> if I do it right now completely. Um, okay. Let's see. I want the little crib. I'm also going to want one of these, but I need stuff that's green and I don't know. Oh, isn't there a white swatch? There's like a white crib with green insides. Oh, perfect. The baby can have their crib over here in front of the window. For little moss. And then little moss is also going to need a changing table. The stone wreck was good. I can't put stone on the baby's floor. The baby needs to have like actual stuff growing together. I guess I can make this be white for now. Okay, where are my diapers? No, no, I want this. Does this have a green swatch? These are the important questions we must ask ourselves. See, that's like not, it doesn't match. That has some green in it, so that could be okay. Um, I'll get that like sort of centered in the room for the baby. Huh. Oh, if I have a diaper pill, I won't get diaper money. Never mind. I don't want a diaper pill. I want diaper money. Oh, I guess I want a rocking chair. I don't like those. Hold on. Um, growing together. Do you come in green? Oh, it's not green enough. That's so rude. What is a person supposed to do with that? Colors, wait, green. Oh, that's nice and green. Moss might like that, okay. Is there anything else that's better? Oh, we're running out of money. How on earth is this family always running out of money after a trillion generations? It's because, um, and I'm a little ashamed to admit this, but it is, it is 100% without a doubt because of my fire toilet. I have to pay 1,800 simoleons to replace it every time, and sometimes it catches on fire more than one time in a day. So it's like 100% the fire toilet, and I'll never get rid of it. So where does that leave us? Well, not in a good place. Okay, that is cute. You have to admit, that's kind of cute, right? Come on. Um, maybe I will use like these ones because they're kind of a fun greenish color. You've never seen most of these green swatches? Yeah, I don't really, um, I don't really encounter them much either. Okay, uh, growing together. I wanted to get, this comes in a green swatch, yes? Oh, Moss is gonna love that. Oh my goodness, like actually that's so cute. <laughs> oh no, the fire toilet has nothing to do with the challenge. It's not like mandatory or anything. It's just for fun. I think I'm gonna leave the room there for now because I don't have any money left. I, I will, I will upgrade it and I'll get more stuff. Like I'll decorate more. I just want to wait until we've like 
finished, you know, I want to have some more money before I like spend everything. Um, you have work in 50 minutes, but you might have time to age the kid up. So I might do that now. Trash can for the room. No, I did it on purpose because I'm trying to sell the kids diapers. Okay, you can be calm. That's a good one. Oh, there's no green hair swatch for infants. That's gonna be a problem. Hold on, let's go see Moss. Yeah, Moss gives me calm vibes too. Moss, Moss can be bald if, if we need to be, that's fine. This'll be good. Oblish. Moss! 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 Oh, cute! Okay, I'm really excited about this. We could also potentially wear, we could be bald and then have like a green hat or something, you know? Um, let's see. Oh, see, I've, this is cute. We could also be a helmet baby. I was a helmet baby. So I love and support all helmet babies, but I like this. This is cute. This is a like a brighter green, more my style. Um, I had to wear a helmet as a baby because of my head. It was like flat or something. I don't know. I had some issue with my neck. So my head was like always tilted like this and then I got flat. So I had to wear a helmet. I think I was cute though. Okay, what else do we have? Um, green. Oh, I need to give you green eyes too, because if we're gonna be the green gen, we should really like embrace it. That's like the really bright green eyes. That's probably good, right? Um, I don't like any of those. I need to find a picture of me as a baby with the helmet. I don't know, I don't have any like, easily accessible right now. I think this will be good, this little green shirt. And then maybe you could wear like, oh, these are all not cute. Do you wanna wear little green shorts? Maybe we could wear green shorts and like a, a shirt that has some more color to it. Okay. We'll wear little socks with our shoes. Maybe no socks with our shoes. This is cute. This is the start of the green gen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The baby was just born. Um, what sort of hat should you wear for your formal? Do you wanna wear this? Oh, that's not green. We probably don't wanna have a helmet only sometimes, right? We don't need to have a hat. I'm just trying, I like the idea of getting more stuff that's green, you know? It's like the more green stuff, the better. Oh, those are khakis, okay. Someone stop me, I'm looking at books again. I spend an absurd amount of money on books. Brew, I, listen, here's the thing. At this current point in time, specifically this week, I have no room to talk. Say it out loud. No, Tilly, because it's worse now. You know why? I bought another book today. I've bought eight books this week. Eight. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you've bought 40 books this month. That's good, Brew. I'm on your side. I'm not, don't listen to these people. You're doing what's best. I'm with you. There's no problem with it. Seriously, nothing wrong with it. Spend as much money on books as you want. Um, I think this is cute for now. Okay. And you know what's worse? I have barely read anything since City Skylines came out. Barely anything. I've read like, I usually read so much more than this, but all I'm thinking about is City Skylines. So I've barely read anything. Terrible. How long has it been? Like two weeks? I'm a problem. Okay. 
Anyway, you can never have enough books. Nothing wrong with buying more books. That's my opinion. Um, okay. You could also be smart and get books from the library. Or you could be like me and spend too much money on books. But I'm not here to judge. You do what you want. Live your dreams, okay? I like this outfit. That's really cute, I think, to be honest. I kind of wish that I had worn it for my hot weather outfit. Maybe we could wear the. Ah! Is there one that doesn't have the 17 on it? Ah! I've never noticed that before. That's so ugly. Why would they do that? Yikes, you love thrift books? My grandma thrifts so many books. She's not very like picky about what she reads. My grandma reads so much and she just goes to the thrift store and just gets like a ton of books, comes home, reads them all, and then she donates them again and then gets more. She just like, just gets books and then. <laughs> it's for the Sims anniversary the 17 and I don't like it because I don't like it when there's like real characters and the, oh my God, it's already green. That's so cute. I don't like when there's real characters in The Sims. I prefer when it's um, like Simlish characters. It kind of throws me off when there's real characters in games. I don't really like it. So. Anyway. Oh no, Icky, this is an infant. <laughs> they added the shirt. They made a conversion of the shirt for the infants, but that one is an infant. So, Hopscotch in the new pack has English numbers. Oh, does it? I don't think I noticed that. Yeah, I don't love when they make real life characters. I prefer when there's like, like Simlish that like looks almost like it could be real writing, but isn't. Um, by real characters, I mean like any real language, like be it English or any other language. I prefer when, when things are only in Simlish in The Sims. Why, how did you get up here already? I prefer when they're only in Simlish in The Sims. Um, that is kind of my preference. It, it just like kind of takes me out when there's like a word, like a real life English word on the shirt. You know how like they made those EA sports jerseys and it says EA? Yuck. If they had made those jerseys, but had like it say EA, but e the E and A were like Simlish characters instead, I would like it better. The EA sports shirts are upsetting to me. And I'll never use them. I don't know, it just kind of like takes me out of the immersion a little bit. Cause everything, everything in the game is always in Simlish except for like a couple things. And it's just weird. It's just weird. Um, okay, uh, Kay and Name and, and, and uh, QK, thank you for the subs everybody. Um, but anyway, it's been so long. There's like so much, it goes back and forth between Simlish and stuff so much. Yeah. Okay, well, I think I might, that's probably a good stopping point for the stream today because I, I do have to get off stream because I have to eat dinner and finish um, some work before I go live again because I have some stuff I need to do still. Um, I'm going to stream again in like two hours. I'm going to be here at nine. It's currently seven my time. Um, and I'm going to be here again at nine. We're going to play some Fall Guys with my friend Steve. If you're interested, I'll be back in two hours. I just have to take, I need to get off in between like I usually do on these um, late night streams. So I will be here later. Um, which will be fun. I'll see you guys there. We're gonna play Fall Guys. Um, I think Dan's gonna be there too, but he has to finish some editing first. So we'll see how long it takes him. Um, I may be there because I'm making myself stay awake. Oh my, Tilly. Well, I will maybe see you there. Um, anyway, it's kind of late for some of you, but it'll it's better for some pl other people. So I don't know, <laughs> but I will be here at 9 p.m. Eastern time in two hours. Um, I am gonna go and find someone to raid. Uh, if I remember correctly, let me check first before I say anything. Um, Yes, okay, Julian, um, Julian Solomita, who a lot of you might know, is playing The Sims, and this is where I wish to be. So I'm actually gonna go raid him. Um, I love this, and a lot of you watch and are very excited about it. Um, I love The Sims. <laughs> so let's go over and say hello, um, say hi for me. I know, I don't know if he's in follower only or sub only mode, I'm not sure, but um, either way, um, go say hi for me. I don't know what he's doing. Um, I see a red pond and perhaps some sort of barn. So we'll see what goes on over there. <laughs> uh, but say hi to Julian for me. Have a great rest of your night. I'll see you in a couple hours. Um, Bex and Cloud, thank you for the subs. Thank you for hanging out, everybody. Um, and I will catch you all later, okay? Okay, bye.